Hello, this is Editor Morgan. It is currently March 2nd, and I am editing this VOD because when I uploaded it onto YouTube last night, a bunch of sections got copyright claimed and the video got blocked basically everywhere. Um, and that includes the clips of the Welsh National Anthem, which I'm still absolutely fuming about. Um, anyway, the blocked clips have all been sped up um, and I'm going to link you the videos um, that we watched both in the description and in the iCards during the video. Um, but for this VOD, uh, you'll just have to put up with the chipmunk versions of the music. I apologise. <laughs> anyway, this is from my St. David's Day stream yesterday on March 1st, uh, where we made a tier list of things in Welsh culture that have had a significant impact on the people and the country as a whole. Um, it got off the rails very, very quickly, <laughs> I will warn you. Uh, but either way, I do hope you enjoy. I'd also like to issue a personal apology to our Lord and Saviour Amesy, who I misspoke uh, about during uh, the beginning of the video due to a serious case of being a fucking dumbass, and I said their name wrong. I am sorry. Please don't hurt me. Hello, hello. These goil dewi hafis. It is St. David's Day. It is the 1st of March. It is the day of the patron saint of Wales. Um, and for this stream, I've decided uh, we're going to do a tier list of... Um, am I very quiet? Bugger. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Um... Excuse me while I just bump myself up a little bit. Is that a bit better? Don't tell Bubbles to fuck off. Um, is that a little bit better? I hope it is. Not really. Fuck's sakes. Something's happened to my mic. Give me a second. Um, I'm just gonna have to press all the buttons and pray that it works. Are we on half volume and it's very quiet? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's give this a go. This is now starting to peak on OBS. <laughs> I can't exactly put it much louder than this. Um, much better. Good. Okay. I guess we'll have to deal with that. Um, sure, it just means you're probably going to hear me sniffling because I'm still recovering from a cold, but whatever. Um, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yes, um, Deeds Goyal Dewi Hapis. It is St. David's Day. Um, and. <laughs> Greet, hello! Hi! Hi, Chris! Um, we're going to be doing a tier list of um, quintessential Welsh culture. Um, this is very unserious, by the way. <laughs> this is very, very unserious. How oh, dare you make me verify my account? Look, I'm sorry. How, how was I to know if you were a bot? Just saying. Just saying, how was I supposed to know you're not a bot? Um, but we have a couple of people sat in VC with me. Um, I will unmute them in a second. Um, so we have Tiny Crow Sun, Skylar, and Claire Universe, Claire. Um, we have <laughs> Skylar being Welsh and Claire being English. Um, <laughs> This is going to be very interesting. Um, Claire is basically sitting in as viewer point of view if you're not Welsh and you don't understand anything. It's fine. We're going to be explaining everything. Um, <laughs> a lot of a lot of this stuff is 
inside jokes. I'm just going to let you, let you in on that now. <laughs> so don't be surprised if it gets a bit wacky. I went to Cardiff once. I mean, yeah, I've been to Cardiff multiple times. So suck on that and whatever. <laughs> right, I'm going to unmute you guys. I'm good. I'm gonna unmute you guys. Say hello. Uh, 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 I'm that, muting. <laughs> hello, my beloved fans. If we'll do it happy, I'm Amohid. 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 Hello, everybody. This, my name is Markiplier. Welcome back to Whale. Nah. <laughs> Sitoiti, shout out, Sitoiti. <laughs> I don't know what's called chat and web, so I'm just calling them a shout out. Shout calling them talk. Why not? <laughs> that, that fits. Shout out. That fits, honestly. Yeah. Um, if people could let me know that uh, the peeps in Discord are loud enough, please and thank you. Oh, no, I've muted stream now because I don't want to hear my voice. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, there are um, other people in chat, Skylar. I don't know if you know this. I have a couple of viewers. I have a I couple of viewers, you know, I'm just saying. I'm I don't just trust saying. Them. I don't trust them. <laughs> Um, <laughs> can we can we appreciate um small dot png? Yes, with the non-transparent background. <laughs> yeah, you got to go VTuber like the rest of us. <laughs> I, I, I Claire a has Claire I has both a PNG tuber and a VTuber because I made I made her a VTuber. <laughs> you, you, you made me a VTuber. Oh, exactly. Oh, I I made Claire a VTuber in multiple different outfits. So whenever you want to use mm -hmm. them, fucking go ahead. Is all. Um, I have a question. Yes. I was asked this by my lecturer today. How do you say "bless you" in Uncanrig uh, uh, and Welsh? Because I don't know, actually. Bendith. He asked me. Bendith. 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 B-E-N-D-I-T-H. Bendith. Now I know. Because uh, he said, how do you say bless you in Welsh? I said, I don't know. Because we don't say it. Because <laughs> Bendith, <laughs> Bendith is just bless on its own. Ah, I see. But it's like a short version. Oh, I'll say that next time. Bendith. Just for some context on, on the people on the VTuber thing, I'm quiet. <laughs> yeah, people people, people are now interested. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're roasting you <laughs> in chat. The model's great. I'll dig it out sometime and like show it. It's literally just a case of I don't have a webcam, and if I want to do a 3D model, I want it to look good. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. It was it was kind of a fairly quick like couple of hours thrown together <laughs> in in Vroid. Yeah. But you do have yeah. multiple outfit variants, so whatever. Um literally yeah. just get one of the cheap ass webcams that we sell at work. Because <laughs> that's all yeah. you need. <laughs> yeah. Another question. You guys know where I can get some cheap ass headphones? Because these ones are starting to fall apart. Boy, do we have a shop for you! <laughs> <laughs> oh it, boy! It it rhymes with uh, there's nothing you can rhyme it with. It's just called it sex. Rhymes with sex. It's just called sex. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes with sex, <laughs> but it's spelled slightly differently. <laughs> yes, for people who aren't British, that's going to be very confusing. <laughs> for people who are British, you, you know, know exactly what we if mean. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. I, one of my one of my least favorite things at work is. Having to you know, tell it, you know, it's a delightful old person. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, it's like do good thing. It's like, oh, you connect to a Wi-Fi, and then realizing, like, no, a Wi-Fi is a sex joke. Yeah, oh, oh, no. <laughs> it is very funny though. I like I'm, I'm telling people. Drink. I like telling yeah. people. Yeah, it's it's called unprotected because we're funny, and like half the time they don't respond, but when they do, it is very funny. <laughs> If you hear me in the distance, I'm grabbing a drink. Okay. Skylar's grabbing a drink, is... everybody. Anyway. Uh, well, 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 you you one of the small dot PNGs just because... <laughs> I mean, it's literally... Um, the program I'm using just takes your Discord profile picture. Oh, okay. Okay, fair. Makes yeah. sense. Um, the longest time it was fucking uh, dodge from, for me it was dodge from CBBC, just yeah, I'll, peering over. I'll send you the link to the website where you can change it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can still have your Discord profile picture, uh, but it just shows up differently when you use the extension that I've got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, That's mm -hmm. why Skylar has um, 
his VTuber or little PNG tuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. A ruby parrot down there. <laughs> a wounded parrot. A ruby cat. A wounded parrot. <laughs> Look, what I was. Going on? <laughs> uh, what's a ruby cat? A ruby character. Ru ruby character. Character oh. from Ruby. <laughs> I get you. I was not hearing anything correctly. Oh, on your head. Yes, oh, they they character. are indeed both branches and antlers. Because I'm supposed to be a druid. They're meant to have flowers on them, but uh, my modeling skills don't go very far. Uh, <laughs> one day I may have them updated, but they are supposed to be antlers made out of. Um, ancient, like, tree stuff. Yeah. It is a really cool design. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I look like a Ruby character. Morgan, you're giving Genshin impact. <laughs> and what is wrong with that? I would die to be in Genshin. Oh, okay, there's anything wrong with that. I, 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 was, just, I was just being facts. Yeah. You, <laughs> give, give, you, give you, like, a spear. You <laughs> would... <laughs> They're a bit more mobile, yeah, because uh, they're made out of um, the model's hair. When I when I was building it in Vroid, I literally had to use hair physics and then just make it really rigid, which is why they wave when I shake my head about. Um, so yeah, it makes them kind of look more like roots or something. Yeah, yeah. that's true. You oh, got cool. roots growing out your brain. <laughs> I do indeed. Um, I set up a new chat command as well that gives like my very bad phonetic pronunciation of Dizgoldewi. You lied to me. Oh! <laughs> For sure. I actually didn't ask a question, so... <laughs> it just does that. I didn't set up the 8-ball sure. command, that's just stream elements. So... <laughs> Love that. Love that. Yeah, but there's also that one. Which I definitely set up myself. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, are we ready yeah. for the Oh fuck yeah. For the tier list. Fuck yeah. Let's, I am I am so go. ready. Let's fucking go. I've gotta wait for stream right, to catch up go. now. Let's <gasps> I see so many wonderful, wonderful things in this. <laughs> I think oh, I think fuck. my head yeah. might be blocking some of them as well, but like this is what I've spent my morning doing. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm Irish, trying to Chris. see how many of them I recognise, and to be honest, it's not that many. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing a lot. That I, re I don't know who that little that little orange bitch is, but the rest of them kind of Excuse Okay, we're going to start off with her then. It's Sally Marley. Oh, sorry, 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 I do sorry, not Morgan. know who Sally Marley is. Where is Oyam and Sam? Morgan. Simon Sam is, is also an English guy. Thing. Like I was gonna put a no, bunch of like. But he's in Pontypandy. I know he's in Pontypandy, but like. Naughty Norman Price starting fires in the van. There you go. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> There's your Simon Sam. Wow, I can't believe Auto Mod decided to deny that. I'm I am a hundred percent allowing that. <laughs> 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 Auto mod, how dare you? That is that uh, is hilarious. I'm walking into the chocolate factory. What's that little orange bitch there? <laughs> oh, don't. <coughs> oh god. Deal with the daffodils. Oh, it's our national it... flower. A national flower. The national flower of that. Wales. Yes, it is. Daffodils yeah. and leeks are our national flower slash vegetable. Slash vegetable. Oh, I knew about leeks. That's yeah. interesting. And so Hatsune Miku is Welsh. Uh, we got two yes, because we're special. Yes, Hatsune Miku is Welsh. Yep. Hatsune Miku. <laughs> She's performing at Coachella. Can't yeah. Wait. Can't believe it. All right. It. Yeah. Anyway. Show me, show me the right. tier list. Right. So um, I'm going to quickly <clears throat> run through all of them before we start going into them individually. So um, going left to right um, on each row, we have... And this first name is going to throw a lot of people off, but I promise it's fine. Uh, St. Fagans, the St. museum. St. Fagans is a museum. I No, we're Look, running... So we had the hashtag cancel Skylar party last, uh, last week. I'm sorry, we're just cancelling the well. <laughs> we will explain it as we go through them. Uh, the first one is St. Fagans, which is a museum. Um yep. 
Kieran, you can if go we... to hell. Um, next one across is Sally <laughs> Marley, who is a, a Welsh children's character. She runs she runs a cafe. Um, cafe. Um, yeah. Next we have the Royal Welsh. The Royal Welsh Oh, show. yes. I know it. I know it, yes. Um, then we have Love Spoons. Yeah. Uh, Tom Jones. Tom Jones. Okay, yeah. National Treasure. Tom Jones. Sir Tom Jones. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. I just <laughs> noticed Rapscallion. Rapscallion. I was Rapscallion. getting to that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Carry on. Uh, you weren't kicked. It was just Automod caught the word bitch and didn't like it. You, I have permitted it. You can type it again, I promise. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> um... <laughs> Next on from that is uh, Ray Gravel. Mm-hmm. Uh, those who know, they know. Those who don't, we will explain. Uh, then we mm-hmm. have the legend himself, Rap Scallion. <laughs> Scallion! <laughs> who I promise we will explain. Uh, then we have, as a general concept, male voice choirs. Mm. This picture is, however, mm-hmm. of the Thanatli male voice choir. Oh my god, can you please play at some we point? We will, we the... will, Skylar. Okay, thank you. We will. Thank you. Um, I'm so glad. This next one is of Celtic roundhouses. Yep. At some point, every school has been on yep. a trip to see it. Specifically to St. Fagans to see <laughs> to the Celtic see the roundhouses. roundhouses yeah. St. <laughs> 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 worse. I'm so sorry. Oh shit, yeah. Ireland's national flower is just a fucking leaf. <laughs> So we're already doing better than Ireland, aren't we? <laughs> and Scot- Scotland's national flower has thorns. Um, true. Yeah. But apparently I mean, you can make soup out of it. Like that. that is true. Or you can make soup out of leeks. You can so. make soup out of leeks. So yeah. You can make a lot of soups with leeks, potato and leek. Um. Yeah. Leek's um. Good. Next yeah. is uh, Clogsia. Although the picture ex- itself is of the bottle oh. dancing aspect of Clogshaw, which again oh. I will explain. Uh, next we have yeah. Cowl. S-tier, <laughs> S-tier, it sounded, S-tier. Like, sounded like you just fell off your chair. <laughs> I don't know who Fuck that yeah. was. <laughs> that was me. S T. The Welsh stew called to him. Yeah. It's a soup. Um. Then we have daffodils, of course. Ad mm-hmm, breaks mm-hmm. already. Twitch, go away. Twitch, fuck off. Um, then we have is that, David, is that the king himself. Now, David now is a good time to um, subscribe to the mischief within. Yeah. Speaking of king, he just went live. Sorry, guys. Carry on. <laughs> God damn it, Philza. Um, anyway. Uh, God damn it, Philza. <laughs> <laughs> when um, he was going on a break. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. David Iwan, legend himself. Um, Hidden behind my head are the words Hin Hin Vlad Van Hardai. Hin Vlad Van Hardai. Yes. Uh, So on to the second row, starting from the left. Mr. Earth. Mr. Earth. We met him. We met him. We met him. We did. We met Mr. Earth. At Pride. (laughs) Oh, it's a gay icon. Okay. (laughs) Is that... Is that what I think it is next what to Mr. Ian? That no fucking really way like you've got fucking Hydro. Started. That is Hydro, formerly known oh. as Drench. Uh, more specifically, Oakwood, the theme park. Yeah. Uh, next to that but, is Brecon Carrick. Yeah. Because Wait, Welsh water does it better. You can't hear, but I'm clapping very loudly. Right? Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, next to that is Sangranog. Mm. And next yes. to that is yes. Gary Gorval. <laughs> Can I ask, um, is the Black Nun included with Shangranog? Because I feel like that's also uh, an important yeah, part of Yeah, uh, we, will, we will in okay, fact good. explain that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have yes. Gary Gorval, which I didn't realise there was actually an English version until uh, much later on in my life. So I was very disappointed mm-hmm. about. But mm-hmm. still, uh, next <laughs> to that is, um, I thought it was just a Welsh thing. He has a theme song and everything. I was actually really sad when I found out it was an English thing first, but Aww. I still consider it Welsh. Um, mm-hmm. Next to that is traditional Welsh dress. That's mm-hmm. not going to go down very well. Then next to that is the mm-hmm. Eisteddfod. Yes. Um, yes. Welsh cheese, specifically Snowdonia cheese. Yes. Uh, Barabreath, yeah. which mm-hmm. I, I have a loaf of next to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mount Snowdon. 
mm-hmm, with its train, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with the train included. Um, Hold on, did you put Mount Snowden or not Bano Brachaniog? I did put Mount Snowden. Well, because it's like the tallest. And not Bano Brachaniog. Well, it's the tallest and it has a train. Yeah, but Bano Brachaniog's cool. I mean, it is. Bano Brachaniog is put mal. Look, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep things as simple as I can, all right? Like, some of the, some of the pictures get Bye. a little bit wild. Some people won't understand. I've Bye. just realised the Royal Welsh is there twice. Leon, ask as many questions as you oh want, God. because I, too, am very stumped. Yeah, we, I promise we're going to go more in-depth with a whole bunch of mm. these when we actually start putting them in the tier list. Um, can I so, have a... Can I make a small request? Yeah. Can you replace the second Royal Welsh picture with a picture of Michael Sheen, please? Because I feel oh. like we're doing a disservice to Wales if we don't include him. You know what? You can't include Tom know? Jones. Yes! Sheen, yeah. He's a Port Albert boy. <laughs> yeah. I was going to include John Rhys Davis on this, but I think I feel like everybody knows him. Michael Sheen is far more important. I mean, John Rhys Davis grew up in Ammonford, so like he's local. True, but Michael Sheen. Can we put my shitty granddad Barry on there? No. <laughs> Can we put Amesy on there? Oh, do you know what? Let's put Amesy on there as well. Amesy and Michael Sheen, please. How hard Thank is you. it to just get a simple PNG? I don't want your shitty web formats. Sorry. <laughs> I have a feeling Amesy's from our neck of the woods as well, without exposing too much. They sound like they're from our neck of the woods, they, do you get what I mean? They, yeah, they do sound southern. Yeah. Chris, what is the what is the Welsh and Irish national weapon? <laughs> Sword. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say knife, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can name the Irish national we- weapon, but it's going to get me cancelled, so I shan't. Right, I'm just gonna uh, put this back on here, just because yeah. uh, this website has ads. <laughs> Let me find a good one of uh, Michael Sheen. I I have one. Don't do not <sighs> do not fret. The battle act. Fuck yeah. Battle act. Well, I'm gonna look up Welsh Welsh national weapon. Yeah, that's gonna be really interesting. What's oh. the German one? I'll look up the German one. Really <laughs> on. I don't give a fuck what the English one is. It's probably a, the boat. <laughs> the boat. <laughs> we don't have a national weapon, Chris. National weapon. I looked it up and it just Skylar. came up with the. <laughs> I am a national weapon. I'm not you know an what? academic weapon. Just I know, a I know what the national weapon of Wales is. Okay? <laughs> uh... it's, it's, it's your town names because, like, you all can just pronounce them. You say that's like, a like, 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 <laughs> the silence says the everything. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> I Sorry, pull, I pull that out at work I'm... sometimes, and like I just get a thousand stares from people. Mm-hmm. Leon, I'm we sad to report about... that any googling of a German national weapon just shows a new military rifle they introduced. That's apparently fucking awful. Yeah. I feel like we shouldn't be googling German weapons. Yeah, maybe perhaps. Not. Yeah. Look, I'm, look, look, my FBI agent knows uh, knows I'm a historian, it's fine. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. My FBI agent is very concerned about this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Anyway, um, what was up next? So we so had... I, I like that, how they're looking at each other as well. Yeah, with fondness. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, next up from um, Mount Snowden is <laughs> TechniQuest. <laughs> Esther, Esther, Esther. <laughs> There's just static on your end of the mic. <laughs> kind of says everything. Fuck yeah. Uh, next up, fuck Welsh yeah. cakes. Uh, or in oh, Welsh, yeah. Picaramine. Picaramine. Beautiful. Next up, National Botanical Gardens of Wales. Hold on. I just want to clarify. So you've got Snowden. You've got the National Botanical Gardens. And you didn't put Bernard Brahaney on. Do you want, do you want me to? Just, You're going to keep fighting me on this, aren't you? Shall I? Shall I change as it? As long, like, right. As long as you've got Pushmaur on there, I'm happy. Okay. Yeah, ha- you know what? Have you included Pushmaur? That is a fair point. Um. I've, Did you forget Pushmaur? I'm gonna do it now. Oh my god! Look, I've oh my look, I've, I've spent so Welsh long icon. trying to do this. You should have con- you could should have consulted me I should have, but I wanted to keep it a surprise. You should have texted me because I know how excited you get. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Right. Uh, now I just really want to play a game of Crusader Kings 3 with both of you. Yeah. Because y'all will betray each other so fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You fucking know it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> First one to go to war, me and Skylar. <laughs> anyway. 
anyway. <laughs> right, that should be updated. Is that updated? Yes. Uh, put it in presentation <laughs> mode. Perfect. Okay, we have put them out on there. Amazing, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. That, that makes up for it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, oh, beautiful. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, TechniQuest, pick out a mine, National Botanical Gardens of Wales, Lava Bread, which we will explain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, this picture is specifically of Castell Koch, but just generally the castles of Wales, because they're just better yeah. than everyone else's. Um, Although Castell Koch is not a castle, actually. Yeah, no, it isn't. Mm. Wild. I just like the picture of it in the trees because it's pretty. So you don't have um, it's also to no, represent the Ronda accent, which is yeah, beautiful in its own right. The Ronda accent, yes. The Ronda accent, <laughs> which if you've ever heard, you'll know it. <laughs> yeah, you will know. Um, Leeks, national vegetable. Uh, Truerin or Abavan. Um, yeah. Kovjoch Truerin, always. Yeah. Next up, Skylar, do you want to do it? I can't even see the words on it because it's so small. I just saw a massive sign and knew what it was. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, what is the second pick? Can we call it Sniffle and make it S tier? Um, her name is Sally Mally and she is a children's cartoon. Yes. Just so you yes. know. Uh, next not. is um, Welsh <clears throat> and English road signs. And I'm going to explain <clears throat> this one when we get round to it. Yeah, um, yeah. Next to that is the Doctor Who experience, which upon getting oh, this picture, I found out has closed down. I didn't know. Oh, it's. You I didn't know. I actually oh, didn't know it had closed years down. Years ago. I had no idea. Years ago. Yeah. I thought that was a picture of um, the. I have a story about it because yeah. it's so cool. <laughs> I thought that was a picture of the um, ICC building outside um, Celtic Manor that's just absolutely ruined the view of Celtic Manor. <laughs> like, just imagine that for years, right? Uh -huh. Coming into Wales, the first thing you see is the most beautiful hotel like building you've ever seen Celtic uh -huh. Manor with the words lit up on it, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, just resting on a hill. Yeah. And then in like, what was it, like 2018, they just decided to put right in front of it the <laughs> ugliest grey box building you've ever seen. They did the same, oh my god. did the same thing with the Paris skyline, and now there's a running yeah. joke that the most beautiful place in Paris is on top of that building, because it's the only place you can't see the building. <laughs> yeah. Oh, It's um, the same. It's we the have same. an ad break incoming in about five minutes, so I'm going to quickly razz through these. We're going to take an yeah. ad break. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we'll start going into the tier list. Okay. Um, okay. So then we have uh, the National Millennium Center. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this next one is just the M4. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the M4 motorway. Um, those okay. that know will know. Uh, next is yep. England versus Wales in the Six Nations specifically. Um, I don't think, I don't want to talk about that. No, I was gonna put Scarlet first. I was gonna put Scarlet's and Ospreys as separate, but I feel like we'd get too divided on it. Um, yeah, no. Uh, next is Sospanvach. Sospanvach. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, fuck next yeah. is Our Lord and Saviour Amy. Uh, Amy, Amesy, even. Excuse Amesy. me. Amesy, I was like, huh? I was like, huh? <laughs> my my brain went kaput there. Um, and <sighs> then mm. Michael Sheen. And then oh, push mild by request of Skylar because mild. I forgot and I'm stupid. Uh, anyway, mm -hmm. and the invisible fireman Sam. It, uh, oh, we're forgetting <laughs> fireman Sam, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Skylar did the impression. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got close enough. <laughs> Lol. I don't like what they've done to fireman Sam. He's all 3D now, and I hate it. Yeah, yeah. It's the same like what they did to. I also don't Potter. like. Because yeah. like he's square now, and I don't like. Can it. we during the ad break? Can I stream share screen with you the difference between the original Fireman Sam theme tune and the new one? Because they've butchered yes. my boy. Yes, you they've can. butchered. Okay, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. It's <laughs> um, like Postman Pat when he got a helicopter. He's a fucking mailman. Why does he need a helicopter? In case I he don't has to know. reach really high places to deliver mail, of course. <laughs> Hermits that live in the mountain. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. So the ad break is about to start in about three minutes. Uh. Do not worry if you if um 
you cannot afford to subscribe um, because leaving the ads running even while you go to get a drink continues to support me um, if you do have a, an Amazon Prime account you link it to Twitch um, and you get that one free Prime cool. sub um, one free Prime sub to <sighs> a streamer of your choice you have, okay, right. You have two minutes and 15 seconds. You're welcome. I'm like, are you being so awesome about that? And right. I'm just here, like, give them your money. If you, <laughs> guys, your money. If you, guys, if you guys sub with Prime, uh, you'll get to watch me screen share the Fireman Sam intros. Yes, so I've actually got if, to if you, um, If you sub with, sub with Prime, um, I will attempt to sing the Fireman Sam theme song in Welsh. Okay. Go on. All right. <laughs> 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 yes, I can't be mad about that. Yeah, no, understandable, <laughs> honestly. Like, <laughs> quick question: Do gifted subs count? No. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Has to be a prime sub, guys. Uh, let me put Discord in streamer mode. <laughs> you are not the stream of my choice. Honestly. Unbelievable. Honestly, I'm I'm very offended. Um. We're now at 1 minute 20 Chris, seconds dating, before mate? the ad break, just to give you guys a heads up. I'm I'm setting up the uh, share screen, don't mind me. Yep. <laughs> um, there we go. Right. Yeah, well, let uh, me get it up on my phone. Screen. I have too many screens going. <clears throat> I need uh -huh. to... Uh, what am I doing? Doot. Tell me uh, when. If I tell put me it, the I'm gonna starts. put it on no, the pop out window. The original <laughs> one, or is that like the slightly shittier stop motion one? <laughs> That's a point, actually. Oh, am I having connection issues? No, I can. Are you? I, I, no, okay. I can't. No, no, it's fine. It's just everything okay. went quiet for a second, and I thought that oh, was my end. Oh, no one was saying anything. Okay, cool. Um, There's I'm... nothing funny to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating. Right, uh, let right. me... Uh, there you go. Right. Um... No, um... Leon, you did. It's just taking from our um, Discord profile pictures. Mm -hmm. Tell me when yeah, you're ready. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that uh, sorted. So, <clears throat> let's I, see. I have to be in the box to be contained. Right. Yeah, Here we it have. Looks like ad break has just started. Okay, anyway. amazing. There we go. Here we have. The Chad original Fireman Sam theme song, okay? Who is, who, who is that? Who are also, these people? Jimmy Trevor so Evans not as Firefly anymore. Can I just say, Elvis was a character that would have been popular back in the 80s. Why do they still have him? No child watching Fime and Sam is going to go, Oh, like, it's Elvis, <laughs> he isn't he? He looks like Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> who is this man? I don't know this man. Okay, can I we don't just go over him. there? Like, Fime and Sam looks like he's just beat you in an arm. Like, he's like, I was like, good point. However, I have drawn you as the ugly one. <laughs> like, it's why is this head shaped like a peanut? Hold on, I'm gonna send a picture of. I'm gonna send a picture of that to be. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. That's um, disrespecting I Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys saw the are. TV movie they did for the CGI series, but like, I have Oh my god! Yes, it's with John Barrowman. Oh is it? Wait, no, no. Is this is this the one where they fucking they made a where, movie? Like, Norman Price almost destroyed Ponty Panty because he couldn't fucking stop himself. 
<laughs> I don't know, but there was one where they made where they made a movie about Fireman Sam and John Barrowman was in it. <laughs> well, he that's looks like he's calling. about to summon his white eyes dragon. <laughs> like anyway, that's my. Uh, I'm gonna stop streaming now. That's my Fireman Sam. Uh, <laughs> Wait, goof. Kieran said that I see Fireman Sam, my boy. and it's not the Scouse version traitor. There's a um, Scouse yeah. version. Now, guys, if you subscribe with Twitch Prime, I'll do my my Fireman Sam, Norman Price uh, impression, or or whatever his yeah, mum's called. Who's his mum called again? I don't know. Ben or something. Me. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Skylar will sing with me in the Norman yeah. Price voice. Mm-hmm. Oh God! What oh, are you don't doing? get me started. About... You know what, you what pisses doing? me off the most? Do oh, you know what no. pisses me off the most? What is Angelina Ballerina? Right. Angelina Ballerina, oh my god. Yeah, when I was a child, I loved that movie. The animation was fucking gorgeous. It yeah. was beautiful. Wait, have they like 3D animated it? You know damn well they 3D animated oh that bitch. Oh my fucking god, no. It was She's like CGI pencil now. drawn pixels and like, now. it was so beautiful. She's pixels now. Do you still have your robot pet? I do still have Vector. He is in his box because he is very noisy, and we get Why? we had noise complaints. So Why I has have... Twitch censored the word robot? Huh? Twitch huh? has censored the word robot for me. Why? I need to. I don't I know. I need to sort out my auto bot, like auto I will, I will... thing. Like what? What is wrong with you? I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you a picture of this. Please Which do. has censored the word robot for me. I just said Autobot by accident. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the do you fuck? still have a <laughs> pet? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Very good day to a dick to construction worker Robert. <laughs> Where has it censored that robot? I don't know. Oh my god. Anyway, shall we get mm -hmm. on to the tier yeah, list? The right. Tier list. Let's go. So, we're going to start off on. with a strong Before we one. continue with the tier list, okay. I just checked. My 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 computer gives me updates on the weather. Uh-huh. And it hasn't given me an actual temperature. It just said, feels colder. Oh. Well, shit, yeah. I could have told you that. <laughs> it, does, it does indeed feel colder. Yeah. Um... Anyway. <laughs> okay, starting off strong with St. Fagans. S tier. S. S tier. S tier. So. Icon. Let Iconic. Me, let, let Welsh me, core memory. <laughs> let me explain. Justify, yeah, I need justifying. Let them so. cook, let them cook. <laughs> St. Fagans is um, a museum of Welsh culture and history. Respond to Sam, well, sorry. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> I just saw what you were talking about. Okay. <laughs> um, so it is a museum of Welsh history. And it's really cool because what it does is there's a bunch of historical buildings scattered around Wales. They have a lot of historical mm -hmm. meaning. They're from different eras, different decades. Um, they're really interesting to look at. So what they do is they deconstruct them, take them over to the St. Fagans like um, plots of land they have, and just rebuild them brick by brick. Um, and it's fucking amazing because it's a bunch of mm -hmm. um, places from different decades. So you've got like roundhouses, you've got like Victorian school, um, you've got um, this picture here is of like an old like 20s, 30s like shopping street they have like a sweet mm -hmm. shop they have like a bakery normally they have like mm -hmm. a like a guy in like a uh, like period dress with a little ice cream mm -hmm. cart that goes around mm -hmm. it's really fucking cool um they have a bunch of like old manor houses mm -hmm. um they have a horse-drawn cart service that mm -hmm. takes you from one yep. side to the other you can go yep. see like old blacksmiths old barbers yeah like it's so cool and it's all yeah. like open air 
and think... we used to go on trips with school to see it it's free to go and yeah. visit as well by the way because yeah. it's a museum yeah yeah um and it's really fucking cool so if you're near the cardiff area mm-hmm. on holiday and you want to go and do something fun fucking go there <laughs> for a day out yeah it's brilliant um, it, it, it also <laughs> um i think it has a hmm? Say again. you're taking me there yeah, uh, we're taking you there, yes, don't worry. Yes, yes, 100%. Um, it also, I think, has, like, a building that is run completely on, um, uh, like, renewable energy. That's right, um, yeah. So, like, solar, solar wind or stuff like that um, to sort of advocate. It's, like, an entire building. I think it's meant to be, like, a um, renewable house, but they the inside of the building is, like, a gift shop and, like, some information on there um, to sort of promote renewable energy. Yeah. Um, and I think they just built, because last time I went there, there was a brand new building there, and it was like an arts and crafts building. Uh-huh. Um, so it has like different types of crafts throughout the decades. They had like knitting, crochet, woodworking, um, all that sort of stuff. And they actually had a guy there who carves love spins. That's oh, very cool. that's amazing. And it's brand new. I love it. We have a, um, yeah. Near where I grew, near where I grew up, there's a very similar kind of thing there called the Black Country mm-hmm. Living Museum. Mm-hmm. I just think those types of places. Oh are yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I think I've seen them on TikTok. Yeah, I have. Oh yeah, cool. because they're, because they're 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 kind of iconic. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... S tier, poor memory. Right, I was just taking a drink. I remember choking on fumes in the Celtic roundhouses. I love uh, that. <laughs> in dragons. Like, because they just have, like, the fucking fires and there's a no ventilation. You'd think a Celtic roundhouse with a straw roof would have ventilation. They don't. Yeah. And you're just, like, fucking, your eyes are watering, you know, trying to listen to the demonstration, but you are just choking. <laughs> One, of my well favorite memories. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite Please. memories was going there with school and they mm-hmm. have like a row of um like terrace houses and you can go and look mm. in you're not allowed to go in and touch anything they they like roped off the doors yeah. but they like mm-hmm. show houses through the decades from like the 20s through oh, yeah. to like the 70s i have the funniest story about those houses right what <laughs> my dad he's pretty old in terms of dads uh-huh. um he had me pretty late in life so he's he's kind of up there um and it's so funny because we this is a museum right yeah a museum and he will be going through these houses and he'll be like oh my granny had one of those (laughs) you know that makes sense his granny had one of those that was quite a while ago now so that makes sense but then he'll go a couple of houses down and be like oh my mum had one of those. Oh no! Okay, yeah, that's still still a while ago, but okay, it's catching up a bit. And then you go a few more houses down, and he'll like point to the bathtub outside in the garden and go, "I had one of those." And you're like, "What?" what? He's like, "Yep." And once a week, and once a week, my mum would fill it up with hot water, and we'd have our weekly bath. And I'm like, "You're what?" Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old my dad is. Well, just so oh you my know, God. Okay, well, I'm not not to be this person, but like I have I have read, I have read some de- very depressing French Revolution books, and honestly, I think that says a lot a lot about how mm. shitty England was to Wales. <laughs> my dad's not Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, fuck England then. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, but I I took my mum to St. Fagans for the first time. Uh-huh. Um, she'd never been. She'd be li- she's been living in Wales for a while now. She's yeah. never been to St. Fagans, and I took her for the first time. And I said, "Oh, I'm going to take you down the terraced houses that go because it's all 20th century houses of different decades. Uh-huh. I'm going to take you through them and see if you recognise anything." And she's a very proud lady. She's like, "No, no, no, I, I shall recognise anything from a museum. I'm not that old." Yeah. And we were going through them, and she went, "I one of those." Oh, and, one of those. <laughs> and then I pointed to a, to a picture of Princess Diana uh-huh. and at the time Prince Charles and I went do you remember that? And she went yes I do <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. so just, just be aware it's creeping up on you oh boy what, what Prince seeing... Charles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah Ooh. well not for much longer Oi. <laughs> okay, uh, next up is this lovely lady. The little orange bitch. Mm. Sally Marley. Umpa Lumpa looking ass. 
<laughs> right, this is the <laughs> nicest picture I could find of her, okay? <laughs> because okay. I'm not joking. Some of the older, like, early 2000s and pre-2000s pictures of this show are terrifying. <laughs> um, okay. Do I dare put one on stream? Uh, yes. Uh, I guess, I oh, guess let me look up Sally Malu. Right, no, let me put it in Discord first so that you guys can see what I'm what I'm talking about. Because they are actually... Oh, oh my god. Right, oh. I'm putting it in Discord. What the fuck? <laughs> what is that? But... Kill it with fire. So this is some beat thing... tentacles so... in the what giant peach. Is that, I know, like, no... right. So... Sally Mali is supposed to have like a really nice cafe, a cafe, and you. No, why does this bitch look like B Tech? Fucking, and it's, what, what, <laughs> it's fucking a sing song kind of thing. They even had like a mini like display slash amusement park. What the Wonka thing was supposed to be, and like yeah. I used, I went there once on a field trip with my primary school, and I only just remember it. But like the entire place looked like a magical fairy like village. Like, what um, the, that's what it looks um, like. Oh my god! You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. Put a ball right. on that guy. There is no okay. difference. I know. What is he dressed like? Fucking Raggedy Ann. <laughs> um, put it up on stream. I want people to tag themselves. Um, I'm the yellow person in glasses at the back who just look. Who's just I questioning think, her life I think decisions? That's meant to be a snail. Yeah, I think that's. Right. To I'm be getting a snail. snail caterpillar. What the fuck is this guy in? in... Right. Um, what gonna, is he meant to I'm be? Put directly over Bubbles' head. Get ready, um, get ready for this. You know the, you know, <laughs> you know the guy who this like. This is what uh, you know I just put in... in Discord for people watching. Okay. <laughs> you know the <laughs> one Wonka where he eats the, like like the, that eats like the the gobstopper yeah. thing and it just oh it my god no he does. Oh my god yeah. Um, I swear to God, I swear to God, my English teacher looked exactly <laughs> like Sally Mally though. I know, right? So like every I don't know who is Sally Valley. The, the the one oh, on the left. The one in the side, yellow dress. Yeah, with with the black oh, hair. That's Sally Mally. Yeah. The one normal part. Of I'm hair so hair. glad I didn't have this ruin my childhood. <laughs> I don't really. Remember I can just this tell version, that kid. But I just I can just tell that kid grew up to have a terrible life. There there is there is <laughs> like, <laughs> there is another version. Which I have got a picture of, as which is might that's be like equally animated. as terrifying. No, it's also live action. Oh my god, that's what I saw. I yeah, right. Why does she look like the fucking witch from Spirited Away though? Why is she? Why is she strangling a bird? Nah, she looks like the fucking. Hold on. Um, this is the other one. <laughs> she does look like the witch. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? She looks like. Hold on. Excuse me for coughing Once again, into the mic. Once again, making um, comparisons that are wholly truthful. Yeah. Tell me, look at this and tell me I'm wrong. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, um, yeah, I kind of see that. I can't believe I had um, a cameo with Sally Marley and didn't even realise. That is me in the morning. <laughs> I know, it's 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 a tiny crow. <laughs> <laughs> tiny um, crow, son. <laughs> but, um, you know when it... they show you, like, this is your brain on drugs. This was the S4C version. I can't believe I didn't okay. put S. Pedwarek on. on the tier list. There are different versions of Sally Mali. Yeah, who, so, so this was... Who is letting this woman have a, have a voice and outlet? This was, um, like, mid-2000s. Why did she have eyes as buttons? This was mid-2000s version. The one I showed you previously was, like very early 2000s version which i barely remember and then the little animated one that we've got uh, like on the tier list my guy is dressed like a gingerbread man <laughs> but it originally it originally came from a kid's book from the, birds. <laughs> the birds tried to stop her Oh Holy my Mally god! Cannot be contained. she literally it's it's you know that fucking tv show which was like emu uh huh. B Tech Emu. Yeah. I see what <laughs> so, you're saying. Yeah, so, where will Sally Mally. Um, where do we uh, think Sally Mally, uh, possessor of many demons, is going to sit on the tier? Can we put her in. Um, can we put I'm, her in C for Crow? I'm scared to put her in F tier in case something happens to me. <laughs> I'd want to go A. Same, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, maybe. 
C for crow. C for crow. Yeah. 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 Sound. You know, sound nice thing. and safe in the middle. I think. I don't think she's gonna. Yeah. I mean, like from an outside. I'm side eyeing this. Point. Can we please put something else in the in the <laughs> Discord chat? Because I really don't <laughs> like how she's looking at me, and it's. <laughs> I got. I got. I've got just the thing. Guys. I've got just the thing for you. Hold on. I'm going into my favorites. Don't worry. I've got just the thing for this. No, oh, no. Fuck, I've got a better thing oh, for this. Oh God, Skylar! I forgot you had that. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> I forgot you had that. There you go. I've covered it up. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we all need Charlie Slimesicle in our lives. Thank you honestly. so, um, so anyway, much. Anyway, next on the tier list is the Royal Welsh Show. Mm -hmm. and if you don't mm -hmm. know what this mm -hmm. is, have you ever watched a late night BBC show around summertime ever? Because that's all that's on BBC. Yeah. Um, is the Royal Welsh show because, as as the name suggests, Royal Welsh, the royals go for one of the days of the week. It's like a week long thing, I believe. Yeah. Um, and it's basically a livestock and culture show. Yeah. That also has cannons. I... I also have a very funny story about the Royal Welsh show. Yes. Um, and my my mother and my sister make it a priority to go to the Royal Welsh show whenever it happens. Uh -huh. um, they very much enjoy it. I've always been busy <laughs> working whenever it's been on, so uh -huh. I have not actually ever been. Um, but one year, I think this was just before, I think it was 2019, just before COVID. Uh, <laughs> my, my mother and my sister went to the Royal Variety and they wanted to look at the cows. They the like to Welsh. look at the cows. Yeah. yeah. Royal Welsh, sorry, not the Royal Variety, <laughs> the Royal Welsh. They wanted to look at the cows. Mm -hmm. So there was this big open area to look at the cows. They went in, they were like, there's not an awful lot of people here to see the cows. Usually it's quite busy. It was this oh, big no. open field. And they were like, not a lot of people here to look at the cows. But there the cows were all lined up. Anyway, as they're walking along, they turn around. And my sister's like, is that Theresa May? <laughs> And the reason no one was there was because they had sectioned it off so that only the royal family and the prime minister could look at the cows. And somehow my mother and my sister had just wandered in. So if you watch, because they filmed the Royal, the royal Welsh and yeah. put it on the TV, there is a very brief clip of, I think it's the 2019 uh -huh. Royal Welsh, where you can just see... <laughs> my mum and sister in the background pretending to know what they're doing but really in that exact moment they realized that they were in the wrong area and they decided to just keep looking at the cows okay and it is very funny and I god, that is iconic. god second off are you sure it wasn't just corded off because nobody wanted to be near theresa may that could also be the case you yeah know? there yeah. were not a lot of people that it was very empty <laughs> um um I have only been to the Royal Welsh once uh, when I was very young with my grandparents. Um, I thought it was a very fun day out because I got to look at animals and go on a bouncy castle and eat lots of candy floss. And then we went and sat in the stands and they started like the procession or whatever it is and let off cannons. And little tiny me got so scared that they ran off <laughs> and they had yeah. to call security to come and find yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> I just absolutely um, scarpered because of this loud noise and my grandparents couldn't find me fucking anywhere. Um and yeah, they had to call security to come and find me. Um and I was just like hidden next to a bin with my hands over my ears. Um very funny. I have attempted to go a couple more times um with family. But every single time I've gotten so travel sick that I have ended up passing out in the car. So I've never actually been again. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it is it was very good. Lots of animals, um, lots of little stalls, lots of crafty stuff, lots of food, lots of cheese. I feel like you're giving like A or S vibe from what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's pretty good, except it's like royals B, and it, it's yeah. full of posh people. So like, yeah, I'd say A or B. B probably. I'd say probably B. It's like yeah. you go there to look at the cows. And that's, that's about, about it. it. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like a core Wales moment yeah. where like if you if you don't do it, like you're not Welsh sort of thing. It's like, like if you've never been to St. Blackens, you're not Welsh. It's like the only things like other than Doctor Who that the BBC recognises Welsh. Yeah. 
that's about it. Well, they barely recognise Doctor Who as Welsh. I mean, that's true. Yeah, you get the the BBC Wales uh, splash art at the start of it, and that's about it. Yeah, so. and the fact that um, David Tennant and Christopher Eccleston's favourite place is apparently Cardiff. There's a lot of other places, places to make you your favourite. I'm going to be honest. Best places. <laughs> Not even the bay. <laughs> Not, even Cardiff. <laughs> Not even the bay. Just no, Cardiff, like just, the city. Yeah. There's lots of other places to go. Lots of other things to see. Just anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> um, Did you imagine it's like wearing Cardiff is your favourite? And they're like, Kate's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> never, wrong. Never talk to me again. <laughs> um, like not even the bay. Come on. Yeah. Right. Next up. Love spoons. Woo. Woo. And Dana. this is something I'm very angry at TikTok about because yep. drop shippers have got a hold of love spoons and it's pissing me off because yep. it's 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 a Welsh thing and people are just trying to make it a thing and a bunch it of drop shippers. It happened the same with Hit Eye. I know, which is and it upsets yeah, me. Yeah, that upsets me very much. Yeah. But Welsh spoon, uh, Welsh love spoons, um, yep. are, um little spoons made of wood with very int- yeah. intricate designs and um, that are usually yeah. hand carved not machine carved yes. hand carved whittled by yes. hand um, because we value artists and we creators do. In that's what house. saint david's day is all about is recognizing the crafters and the creatives that's half of the national anthem yeah. like yeah. <laughs> um but these spoons were uh, generally whittled by very love-struck young men who would give mm. them as an offering, a token of their <clears throat> um, love, desire, and devotion to the partner of their choice. Um, and, and typically on St. Doin Wednesday. Typ- typically on St. Doin Wednesday, which was the 25th of January um, and is considered Welsh Valentine's Day. Doin Wen mm. is the uh, Welsh saint of uh, love and fertility and peace. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it's a really yeah. cool detail because on if you say like if you're married or if you have kids with your partner, um, you can get like little balls like put into your love spoon yeah um with the amount of how many kids you have so if like two kids you get two little balls yeah um but they're like it's really cool because it's like they're loose so like you can move them around and they'll like move and stuff it's really cool yeah okay i just want to say i'm looking i'm looking at like a bunch of these on like google images and like these are fucking gorgeous yeah. the amount that integrate the welsh dragon as well yeah the, mm-hmm. you can get different designs that mean different things so like uh, more often nowadays mm-hmm. you uh, gift one with a specific mm-hmm. decal that means like a certain mm-hmm. anniversary number um, mm-hmm. and stuff like that but if you are ever going to mm-hmm. get one obviously if you're able to whittle fucking go for it um but if you are yeah. going to get one i would say to definitely search out a welsh carpentry shop yeah. Or find your nearest yeah. to local carpenter. Don't get them off random sites mm-hmm. on the internet because people are sadly starting to drop ship these and it's very annoying because mm-hmm. they're just made of yeah. cheap plastic and resin, not actual yeah. wood. Um and they're probably not Welsh either. They're probably like, not Welsh. The they, designs probably mean And they were probably made under they're just, all the conditions. They're sort of capitalizing yeah. on this idea of like, ooh, mysterious Celtic spoon. Yeah, it's like literally it's Welsh. Yeah. The the and designs won't also, mean I want anything. to throw in like yeah. yeah. I, I just want to throw in, even if you can't whistle and you just try, you learn safely to make one. That's whoever you're going to give it to is gonna be like, oh, God, you forged a spoon for exactly. me. If like... they look at your even attempt at a love spoon and go, mm, but it looks ugly, they're not the one. Exactly. They're yeah. not the one. Throw them out. Speaking of love spoons, my boyfriend is here. Hi. Don't ask for a takeaway, please. I can't. <laughs> what? What have you bought? What do love you mean spoon. expensive? <laughs> What do you mean? You bought more ghost merch. Um, oh, oh, fuck yeah. F- okay. But they're, they're no longer free for them, so. Oh, right. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Oh, wow. Okay, I can't shout at you when I'm on a stream. I get it. Cool. 
Okay, thank you very much. You're gonna have to gift me a love spoon now. <laughs> he'll have to make it himself. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to whittle it yourself. Unleash your inner halson and whittle me a spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna call you a bear again. You like my dad? <laughs> Your dad's lovely. <laughs> I've met your dad. He is the loveliest like guy. <laughs> yeah, my dad is nice. <laughs> Don't say he's alright. My dad all right. belongs in a museum. Your dad is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was Kieran strategically trying to stop me from getting angry about the fact he spent over a hundred quid on ghost merch. <laughs> Oh my god. No, no, no. When no, we spent near 200 on ghost merch last month. <laughs> yep. I mean, I have really cool I have a really cool hoodie now, but like oh, that's good. It was expensive. Um uh, anyway, love spoons. I'd say um, A tier. A-tier. It's it's the sort of thing where it's like it's a really like old tradition that like It's a if... craft that not a lot of people do now. It's yeah, like and very, a lot of people yeah. don't realise there's a Welsh tradition as well, so it's yeah. something that you would only get if you if you sort of grew up here. Yeah. Um, or like were born here. And I would like to see more of them being made the traditional yeah. way, through whittling. Yeah. Which yeah. I've kind of always wanted to do. Like one of those things where it's like, that sounds really cool. Um, yeah. But yeah. I have that... Yeah, I have that delusional thing in me where I watch someone do something, I go, oh, I could do that. <laughs> I absolutely couldn't. <laughs> yeah. But making spoons is one of them. Yeah, love spoons, A tier, definitely. For the symbolism, yeah. the history, the craft, we love it. Next up, mm -hmm. Sir Tom Jones, national mm -hmm. treasure. We mm -hmm. love him. Mm -hmm. He sang at the Queen's Jubilee or whatever. Anyway, he's on mm, the voice. That puts him down in my books. Yeah. The, yeah, the, that puts him down in my books, I'll be honest. The spirit that he can bring to a crowd. Yeah. I mean, we've all heard Delilah sung True. by a massive crowd. The voice, the power, the legacy. Mm -hmm. Hi, Madison. I'm going to say something. <laughs> Hi, Madison. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hello. We're doing Welsh culture tier lists uh, for yeah. St. David's Day. Um, what were you going to say? Controversial stuff. Um, oh, I'm going to say something controversial. I think Tom Jones should be with Sally Mally in C, C tier. Oh, now he okay. can be above Sally Mally in C tier, but look, he's great. He's a Welsh icon. Yeah. I don't like his music that much. Uh. And the fact that he sang at the Queen's Jubilee... He was he was the only Welsh artist to perform there. I wonder why. Because <laughs> he's like the uh, only Welsh artist ever. <coughs> United. Um, yeah, Luke he is. Evans, a, he is a sir. First of all, but he's a sir. He's a sir. Yeah. Which also puts it down in my books because not only did he perform at the Queen's Jubilee, he let her point a sword at him and call and knight him. Hey, uh, no, come on, like. There's very few Welshmen that get that. It is cool, like that puts. I wonder why. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> There's good reason. <laughs> we don't like them. Um, when I find it later, I'm gonna put a TikTok, um, in Discord where someone took footage of Tom Jones doing a comedy skit, and they put <laughs> fucking dis put down with the sickness over it and it's very very funny <laughs> i'm gonna have to send okay, it to enough. you later um tom jones i like he yeah. he is a national treasure how mm -hmm. are they are let's be honest mm -hmm. very powerful mm -hmm. obviously he was I mean, it's your tillers. from the the 60s 70s music yeah so a lot of it is outdated, although he does very good jazz. He does. I think Pussy Cat is a very good song. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good for pranks. Yes, indeed. Um... Um, so, obviously taking off a couple of points because of his association with royals. Literally, he's been yeah. knighted and played at the Jubilee, that is it. But still. That's a pretty strong association, I'd say, but... 
that's a missed opportunity to grab the sword and become the new king. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? King the real Tom true Jones, Prince of Wales. <laughs> the true Prince of Wales. No, that, that honour goat should go to Michael Sheen and Michael Sheen only. I'm sorry. Yeah. I... Only because we like him so much. Michael Sheen, I'm watching you very closely. Yes. Um, Kieran can go to hell. He's not F tier. Not, not quite. He's. I don't think he should be below Sally Mally, but they're definitely on par with each other. I mean, we put Royal Welsh in B because of the cows, and that also has association with royals. Okay. So it's like it's. Good. I, don't, I don't think the okay. cows get a say in the matter. I think if the ca- cows, the cows, they would just shit on the royals. <laughs> Honestly, um, I think they probably have to be like, honest. It's just good. Show you that. It's we we appreciate the history, um, but not quite on the same significance as yeah. Love Spoons and St. Fagans. I feel like the Real Welsh shows should still go above Tom Jones because. It was upstaged by my mum and sister, and <laughs> yeah. I feel like that brings it up a notch. <laughs> that is very true. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, next up, we have Ray Gravel. Mm-hmm. Please tell me you know who that is, Skylar. That's going to be a no. no. I, don't watch a lot. I don't watch a lot of rugby. It's, 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 it's fine. Um, so, Ray Gravel um, was a local boy, played for Sinesi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Kieran, do not say egg ball, man. I'm just about no. to tell you that he died. <laughs> Kieran, no. please. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, Ray Gravel was very beloved in the community. <clears throat> he was a local boy and went on to play for the Welsh rugby team. Uh, he was mm-hmm. very, very good. Kieran, don't say dead egg mm-hmm. ball, man. Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> um, he was. Oh very- my god. <laughs> <laughs> he was very bad at egg and spoon race. Shut up. Oh my god. Um but he did a lot of uh giving back to the community. Mm-hmm. Um he would go okay. around and uh support a lot of kids sports clubs. Um he was later in life diagnosed with <clears throat> diabetes, uh which did end up um being one of the causes of his death. Uh, the main cause was um, from... Hold on, Claire. I need to correct you. Most Welshmen are aquatic. That's literally <laughs> our entire environment is rain. What yeah. are you on about? <laughs> Sorry, continue. Uh, excuse me for coughing directly into the mic. Um, uh, yeah, uh, he, he um, did in fact die from complications that came from an amputation he had to have due to diabetes. Um, and when it happened when it happened it um did in fact shake the entirety of wales especially Mm -hmm. the welsh rugby community because he was a very beloved player Mm -hmm. um myself as well um when i was very small before i actually knew what was properly going on (gasps) i do have a memory of it i met ray gravel um at a local um sports event for schools and I was very, very small, and he was presenting a radio show. Um, so somewhere out there, there is a mm-hmm. there is a clip of me on national radio. Um, I remember at the time I was dressed in my little red raincoat and yellow Wellington boots because it was raining. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm stood in a very noisy hall, um, and I'm answering questions on live radio in Welsh as a very small child, uh, to Ray Gravel, and he had me sat on his knee the entire time, and there's a picture of it somewhere. Uh, but I did, in fact, meet him when I was very small, and um, oh. since uh, the Sanetti Scarlets was my local rugby team, um, I mm-hmm. never got to see him play, but I was there at the matches where we held memorials and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it was actually a big part of my life when I was growing up. Um, um, Morgan... I don't want to take away from your very touching <laughs> story right now, but we've forgotten the ultimate Welsh icon. Uh huh. Nye Bevans. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I cannot believe we have forgotten the ultimate Welsh socialist icon. That is very true. 
Um, Let me get a picture of no beds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I I put him on. I put Rigravel on the tier list because um, it was a very significant part of my life. I do remember the going to the memorial games, and it did shake me uh, because I have this very vague memory of being sat on this man's knee as a child, um, and looking up to go. him. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, it was very emotional when he did pass and he left a huge influence on the Welsh rugby community. You sent that to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ginger small guy from that crappy fantasy series you like. He's talking about Gimli, played by John Rhys Davis. He's Scottish! Is he Scott? He's Gimli's what? Scottish, isn't he? John Rhys Davis Gimli is an has a Scottish Ammon... accent. He, yeah, the dwarf character himself is has a Scottish accent. John Rhys Davis is from Ammonford. No one told me this. No one told me this. Skylar, why did no one tell me this? Skylar, he's I a local boy. He's literally right. I okay, cannot I'm not, believe this. Not even kidding. He's coming to Liverpool Comic Con in May, and I'm going to go see him. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I. I literally watched Fellowship for the first time <laughs> with my best friend, and I cannot believe she si She did not tell me yep. that he was from Ammonford. So, um, he was originally born in, I believe it was Salisbury, which is nearby the yeah. border. Um, but yeah. his, uh, both his parents are Welsh, and he grew mm -hmm. up in Ammonford. Love that for him. <laughs> Thank you, Madison. The big red but... dragon should be S tier. It should indeed. You're so right. 100%. You're so right. And the white one should be F tier, actually, because it lost. So, yeah. um, <laughs> to try and rein in um, the mad ADHD yeah. vibes of the stream. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, from the vibes of these rugby fire, I'm guessing S tier. S -tier. I feel like it should be S tier. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. He deserves it. Yes. Smoke. Um, yeah, if you, I if was you Smoke do... red? I would have said he's brownie. He was kind of like coppery. Yeah. yeah. He's also played by Benedict Cumberbatch, so whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Madison knows what's up. I've already I've, I've, intru I've introduced Madison to Rap Scallion um, over one of our mm -hmm. lunch breaks. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, Rudy Rap Scallion. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bring up. Uh, one of the music videos, or at least a lyric video are we, or something. Are we gonna? Are am gonna I gonna get, get copyright copyrighted play? for playing Rap Scallion on stream? I don't think. I don't think it's legal to copyright claim someone for playing Rap Scallion <laughs> on on Saint David's Day. I think. It, I think it's a God given yeah. right at that point to yeah. play Rap Scallion <laughs> on Deep Well Doe. <coughs> oh boy. Um. Right. Let me bring stuff up in a separate tab. Uh, let's see. Only Bob's allowed. Indeed, indeed. I feel like um, Rap Scallion should also cover Club Cymru, which is also just as iconic, for the same reasons. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, no way, is that an updated? No, that is the, the, the original music video. Oh I'm my god, that's so cringe. <laughs> oh. I forgot about this. Um... Oh my god. Give me a second. I'm like having flashbacks. Oh boy. This is something. Um let me put this in full screen. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. <laughs> just gonna have to give me a second while I sort this out because holy yeah. fuck. <laughs> You guys need to. You guys need to experience this yourselves. I. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I can't explain um, it to you. you. Just need to. I. I'm. I'm very curious. I. I hope this plays. Is that playing? Yeah, that's playing. Uh, <clears throat> I need everyone in the VC to be quiet. <laughs> okay. For context, this is a child's. Uh, a child's TV personality. <laughs> White man rapping. <laughs> so oh no this is like 
early to early to mid two thousands. Mm-hmm. So Eminem is definitely a thing at this point, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm not clued in on Eminem law, <laughs> so please don't bully me. Um, but mm-hmm. <laughs> you could, I'm just gonna have to let you experience it, really. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope the volume's up enough. Uh, I'm just gonna have to. Oh boy. <laughs> I literally can't hear what anyone's saying because all that's in my head is Rapscallion. Okay, I'm gonna fucking stop that because Jesus Christ. Wait, what has he got the fucking red filter around it? Like, <laughs> just in that one frame? I don't know. Why is every shot of him in that suit just fucking Star Trek flares? <laughs> you say every shot of him in that suit as if there were any shots of him out of that suit. <laughs> I don't want to see him out of the suit, especially on a children's playground. <laughs> anyway, oh. um, that was that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna link that video <laughs> in in um, my Discord so that if anyone wants to see it, I'm gonna put it in music. Um, you can go find it yourself. Um, <laughs> Cause yeah, um, where's my music channel gone? There it is. Uh, yeah, this is what's happening on stream right now by the way there you go uh, you can go watch that in your own time enjoy <clears throat> yep 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 um <sighs> i did I, I didn't mean to. Uh, right, so definitely F tier, right? Or like E because it's funny. Like, like kind of... It is kind of the worst thing I've ever heard, but it's also very funny. I'm putting it in E tier. Like, like we're not... We're not... <laughs> No. No, definitely not. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, we'll do Doctor Who experience since we have a Doctor Who nerd with us. Uh, we have two Doctor Who nerds. That is, that is very true. I am not that big on Doctor Who. But, like, I'm sorry, I can never really get on with it, okay? <laughs> anyway, Doctor Who experience in Cardiff, which I wasn't aware had closed down until I got this picture earlier today. <clears throat> I, it feels like some sort of like foretelling, I guess. <laughs> Did I mute them? Oh, oops. I mute Discord, bro. No. Oh, I did by accident. I'm so uh, sorry, uh, lads. No. A- anyway, no. Um, you're unmuted no. now. It's fine. Um, we were anyway, saying. So I was just talking about the numerous war crimes account. I have committed, actually, and will commit again. Uh, Claire's going to be leaving in a little bit, so we're talking about Doctor Who experience. Um, so yeah. Um, I went. <coughs> I went with my nan, my uncle, my aunt. It was incredibly cool. Mm-hmm. It, um, there was also a tour around several filming locations, um, and um, there were signs about with Daleks pointing towards it, which is mm-hmm. just really cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I have a really cool story about this. This wasn't like 
I went, but this is something I've seen on YouTube, because it opened when Matt Smith was the Doctor. Mm -hmm. And it's like a walk, you know, if you've ever been, there's like a walk around bit with mm -hmm. like, it can be like a story thing you go through. Mm -hmm. It's quite yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Well, at some point in 2014, they swapped it over for Peter Capaldi, because yeah. he's like as the Doctor. Yeah. And for the first, you know, day, and there's this really great video of them walking in, um, they didn't have the Peter Capaldi video. They just have Peter Capaldi. Oh, <laughs> I think oh. I've seen There's that. There's a really great video of them going into like you know the the, the makeshift TARDIS of Coltsoro, and he's just fucking laughs. <laughs> I love that. They didn't tell anyone, and it's just such a cool thing. That's I love such that. a Peter Capaldi thing to do, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude showed up. Was born. Well, dude was born. Became the biggest Doctor Who fan. Became the Doctor, left, refuses to return. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. you could say that about everyone that's worked on Doctor Who. Yeah. With the exception of David Tennant, who, of course, they'll be wheeling out well, for the Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Resurrecting for the A tier. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you think he's going to die in the next 20 years. <laughs> like, I really hope not. He's, he's on his way out. Pressure. Right. Um, what are we saying for Doctor Who experience? Rest in pieces. A or B tier? Because it's like, it's not the ultimate Welsh experience, you know. Yeah. It's not. It's uh, not yeah, on the. Like... It's not on the Welsh identity stamp card sort of thing. Mm. But it is in Wales, and we are sad to see it gone. Yeah, it, I was, was going to say. Like, it, yeah. It's cool, but it's not. It's not very Welsh. It's just. That yeah. they filmed yeah. a lot of Doctor Who in yeah, Wales. Yeah, pretty much. Definitely and I think the person that. who made it was Welsh. Definitely yeah. B too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, Doctor Who experience. <laughs> We're sorry, Peter Capaldi. Yeah. So sorry. You are Scottish, though, so... <laughs> um, yeah, he's not even Welsh. I, I think it's so fucked that we haven't had a Welshman play. Like, actually, Doctor, yeah. get Michael Sheen on yeah. that. I shall do it. I will do it. I guess I'll take <laughs> yeah. it upon myself, guys. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah, we'll do it, and then um, I get to play like that one person in every Dalek story. It's like, oh, they're not that bad. Bruce, <laughs> they die yeah. horribly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you can do that. <laughs> um. Uh, well, this has been um, fun. I'm gonna, I've got mm -hmm. a dash because I need to eat food. Sure okay. Thing. Apparently, go ahead and and nom some good foods. You'll Have you'll fun. enjoy, and I mean, I'll probably talk. I'll talk to you guys later. So yeah. 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 Bye. 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 Awesome. Right, we've lost the only person that <laughs> uh, the the rest of the audience could relate to, so yep. it's just gonna, us Welshies now. I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna move your avatar over to the other yeah. side. And you're oh, yay. Sit like, <clears throat> like... You muted the peeps. Uh, that, oh, was, wait, that was from no, before. That was an old yeah. one, yeah. Uh, so chat's going to be slightly over your face, but uh, not that much. Um... Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> uh... Reedy Rapscallion. Oh, don't. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> so over that. I put it in there as a joke, and I'm immediately <laughs> so over it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Right. I feel like we should get Adam in on this and see what he has to say. Honestly. I feel like Josh should join. He's going to be so confused. Oh my god. Right. Um, are we going to keep going in order? Yeah. Yeah? So we have male voice choirs. Fuck yeah. Um, we will listen to the thing that we want to listen These... to when we get round to yes, the actual uh... national anthem. Actually, oh, I, th fuck, I feel yeah. like we should leave the national anthem until the very last one. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll leave Hinlad and Hardai for the last one. Uh, but male okay. voice choirs. Uh, Wales is um, actually kind of well known for their male voice choirs. Um, yeah. They do very well on a bunch of like choral like competitions. Yeah. It's one of our like biggest that. exports, other than cockles. <laughs> Indeed. Um. <laughs> You think I'm lying? Swansea is no, one of the like... biggest exporters of cockles around the world. You yeah. think I'm lying? I'm not. This is actual fact. Yep, that is actual, Continue. actual, actual fact. Um, but uh, Wales produces a lot of very, very powerful, very 
good male mm-hmm. voice choirs. Um, don't believe I me? Think it's because, I'm not even kidding. Yeah. This is a really like basic bitch answer. Go listen to Only Men Allowed. So Only Men Allowed spelled A L O U D. A majority yeah. of them are Welsh. They're fucking gorgeous voices. And in true Welsh spirit, I know people who know people in Only Men Allowed because everyone that. in Wales knows everyone in Wales. Exactly. Seven steps from Kevin Bacon, except it's seven steps from Tom Jones. <laughs> You're always seven. To be fair, I am actually not. My, I think I think like someone in my family is like a few like people away from being related to Tom Jones. I think it's like fourth cousins or something. So like. <laughs> I love that. Not close enough to consider them family, but close enough to be like, oh, I'm distantly related to Tom yeah. Jones. <laughs> so, always seven <laughs> steps away from someone. Yeah. Um, I think I think I think the thing with Wel- Welsh male voice choirs is that Wales itself is a musical language. It is. Like it is very. It, much. it literally is a ma- language that where you will add stuff to the start of the sentence just so it it the rhythm is nicer. Yeah, literally. Just you know how, so it you follows. know how like. Yeah. You know how like French is like, oh, we changed the start of this of this word just so that it would flow nicer. We went we added a whole ass word at the start of our sentence. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. doesn't mean fuck all because we, have, we wanted it to be in a four three count. We entirely restructured our sentences yeah. just yeah. so that they sound nicer. Like yeah. it is But at least it's phonetic. You can't you can't fault us for that. It's most completely of the time. phonetic. Most of the time. Most of the time. Most of the time. You have the odd when one. When is it not? Okay, I don't the odd I don't remember exactly, but I was on like some You know what? Some trip with people who weren't Welsh. Yeah. And I was like, Yeah, Welsh is fanatic and they went to try and read a Welsh word and it wasn't and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> You know what? I can name two places <laughs> that actually that actually correlate with that. The uh-huh. one, first one, Ponte de Lice, Right? Yeah. Ponte de Lice. It should be like Ponta de Lice or something. Yeah. Ponte de Lice. Yeah. And then the second one is Hirwan. Shouldn't it be like Hirwain or Hirwain? It's Hirwain. Is it Hirwain? It's Hirwain. I've never heard anyone pronounce it Hirwain. Really not? Everyone that I've... I, I've, I know very... I know a lot of people that live in that area. Every single one has pronounced it Hirwan. But to be fair, no every single person shit. that I've spoken to in that area speaks English, does not speak Welsh. I mean, yeah, um, which is surprising because it's like really far up in the valleys. You'd expect them to speak a lot of Welsh. No, none of them do. Yeah, it's it's Hirwain. I I correct myself. There you go. It's Hirwain. <laughs> I was right the whole time, and I've just been gaslit into thinking it was Hirwain by people yeah, who don't even because, speak Welsh. Um, wine. Uh, so yeah. W A U N is yeah. Um, moorland, wine. moorland, or like. Um, yeah, like countryside, I guess, and so it's yeah. like long moorland. Yeah, that's what that is, because he. Well, it is H- to be H- fair. Yeah, that is very true. Um, it is because <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, uh, who don't speak the language, uh, here H I R uh, means long. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Welsh word of the day here. Here. <laughs> yes, we're not going over valleys. We're not going to start that. Because that's going to get very silly well, very quick. Shut up. But well, we could. No. <laughs> oh, well, we, we have could. ads about to start uh, very soon. Guys, if you use Prime to sub, I'll tell you what the Welsh word for valley is. <laughs> you're going to very much enjoy the answer, I promise. <laughs> but you'll only find out if you use Twitch Prime to subscribe. That is very true. <laughs> Um, um, while we're while we're at it, I think uh, Welsh voice choir should be in like A tier with the love spoons. I feel like it's on the same yeah. level as love spoons. It has where it's a like very very, deep, very cultural significance. Yeah. yeah, very ingrained to the culture. Something that like you just grow up with as a kid, singing like Halon Lan and Sospan Vach and Henward Vanadai. Yeah, like you Kieran, just or um, Kieran, Kieran, why did you come in at the worst times? <laughs> Oh my god. Look, Did... we've already had that joke be made. Yeah. We've already had it Madison, made. Madison made those jokes. Um, yeah. If you missed that bit... The blunder I can't get over. <laughs> I can't get... 
so it's so true. Kieran, if you missed that bit, I linked the video we watched in the um, music part of my Discord. So go enjoy that. Enjoy in quotes. If two people say they must be accurate, go watch the video. You'll understand oh, entirely. Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck my water. Ah, oh, fuck my meds. Did you ever have to sing Us Pridonors in school or college? No. Do you remember I... me singing Us Pridonors in college? No. With the college choir? Did you ever actually see the college choir? No, no, I didn't. I was, I was an IT student. I You're literally, so when I was, when I had <laughs> so breaks, lucky. I was just out of there. Like, <laughs> our college had a college choir, and I guarantee, if it wasn't mandatory for the performing arts students to be in it, they wouldn't have a college choir. And I think that's the only reason they made yeah, it mandatory. Probably. Um, I think maybe once we had someone outside of our course join one session mm. of the choir realized that they were so completely isolated because we all knew each other yeah. and they didn't know anyone and never came back did you the ever only have to good do, thing in primary school did you ever yeah. have to like we had like this big county choir thing were you ever a part of that it was like for years five no, and six only. But i did i did i tried to audition and I, I ended up not auditioning in the end but i do know what you're talking about it was mandatory Literally, years five oh, and six. Oh, it wasn't six. mandatory for me. Oh, years five and six, so I had to do it two years. We had to do oh, it. Oh, no. And every, I'm thinking of and something else. Literally, once a week, we would be shipped out of school for one day to this massive, like, theatre. Oh. I think it was it was in Ponte Beirem. This giant... No. The, the theatre in Ponte Beirem. And it was no. literally years five and six from a bunch of different schools in the county. And, like, one very small, very loud teacher trying to get us all to listen. And no one no, wanted I to be there. No, I never did that. But it was, like, mandatory I was thinking of... Yeah, no, I was thinking of something else entirely. But no. I didn't sign... I didn't... <laughs> I didn't get auditions for that until, like, <laughs> secondary school, so... Oh, fair enough. Um, but it was awful. And both years we had to sing yeah. Alana Moor. And I hated that song. Oh, the end of it. yeah. Like, it can be very pretty if done right, but when it's a group yeah. of, like, 10 and 11-year-olds... 10 to 11-year-olds? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. But then when my sister um, did it, they had, like, a full, like, jazz show and everything, and I was like, what the fuck? Oh. No, we never had it either. But <laughs> I went to a Catholic school, so they just had us singing hymns. Fair but enough. we had to say the Our Father and the Hail Mary in Welsh, and I can't remember what the Hail Mary was. Right. But Our Father, I can remember, but only phonetically, like... I don't actually know what the words are I'm saying. I just remember yeah. the sounds that they made when because that's to, how I learnt it. We had to do prayer in primary school because it was <laughs> not advertised as a religious school, but it was definitely religious. Mm -hmm. uh, we had mm -hmm. to do prayer four to five times a day. Mm -hmm. And I never understood any of them at all. Mm -hmm. And like, granted, Welsh is a second language to me. Um, so yeah. I struggled to understand a lot Same. of it anyway. But when you're throwing old Welsh and yeah. old religious Welsh at like five and six year olds, I had yeah. no clue what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. Which honestly probably plays a big part in why I'm atheist. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I first moved to Wales, they did something for Eisteddfod where they had like someone sing a solo, but you had to audition for the solo and then they basically picked you up who was best. Right. But the song they wanted you to sing was Calon Lan. Oh, this was yeah. the first time I had ever even heard of Calon Lan because <laughs> for like the years prior, I'd been living in either England or France. And funnily enough, Calon Lan is not very popular in southern France. Um, <laughs> so this was the first time I ever heard it. I didn't realize how culturally significant it was to Wales. Yeah. And I'm on here like trying to learn Calon Lan on YouTube through this one woman just phonetically i oh, can't even boy. remember how i sang it but i guarantee it was not correct oh wonderful <laughs> oh now i get to tell you what the welsh word for valley is <sighs> thank you is the ad still running uh the ads are not running currently oh oh convert that's a shame converted from a prime sub to a tier one sub so it wasn't a prime sub specifically there you go, so I won't, I won't tell you the Welsh word. Yeah, well, no one finds out the Welsh word 
the mm -hmm. valley now. Sad. Maybe a chance Anyway, we had on. to sing Us Bridden All Sing College. And yeah. uh, there's a really funny video of us all singing it. And yeah, I'll have to send it to you. <laughs> yeah. Because they told us to practice while our teacher wasn't there. And, te and pra technically we did practice. Uh-huh. <laughs> but. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You'll see. Fair enough. I can't believe you never got to see us sing Hallelujah, because that was actually the best thing we ever did. I Again, I'll split a nos. Another one. Another one where they never act... If they had given me the words on paper, I would have been able to read them. But they never did, so that's another one where I don't know what the actual lyrics are. Oh. I'm straight up just repeating what I have heard. <laughs> okay. I, I know what a split a nos is i know like what i'm saying there i'm not repeating yeah. that just from what i've heard but like <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying i'm just saying i'm just saying gibberish yeah because they never actually gave me words to say if i looked up the words now it would not be what i thought they were <laughs> i'm gonna look up the words for us and Norse. honestly go for it um as we talk about our next one which is Celtic roundhouses. Yay. Um, so everybody knows that the Celts used to live in roundhouses. That is just a known thing. Um, there is a museum. I'm trying to remember the name of it. I think I have it written down somewhere. Bryn Erir. Um... That's it. It's called Bryn Erir, And it's literally a Celtic, Welsh Celtic reenactment site. And we went there with school, we got to sit in this roundhouse that was all smoke-filled from the fire, and we had blue paint shoved on our faces in like Celtic war patterns, and we were each given the name of a Welsh goddess, or god. Um, oh my god, I found them. Uh, sorry, yeah. And then we were taught how to like weave willow into like roundhouses and how to make clay pots and stuff. Wow. And it was actually, you had it, such was, it, was, <laughs> it was in primary school. Um, yeah. And as kids, we had no appreciation for it, for like the culture and like where we came yeah. from. I just yeah. remember that I was given like a water goddess. Oh, with nice. A, with a very not Welsh name. It was like Sabrina or something. I love that. <laughs> like growing up, like after like thinking back at it, I was like, you definitely made that one up but like we were all given mm -hmm. like obviously the blue Another paint the of... blue woad and they they literally painted it individually on each of our faces and it's um stained... they definitely made it up because i looked it up <laughs> and the first thing that's coming up is Irven. fair enough oh a fate and warfare and the personification of river d okay yeah they definitely made it up then <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not getting a uh, Sabrina. Oh wait, no, Mid Wales, my way, Sabrina. Oh. Carry on, and I'm gonna read up. Okay, but yeah, we got we had blue paint, uh, painted in like Celtic knots and stuff on our faces. Oh, and it, it I see. It stained my face for days. Do you want to hear something? What? <laughs> Havren is the Welsh goddess of the River Severn, and her Latin name is Sabrina. Ah. So technically, she is a water goddess, but they've got different goddesses. For different rivers. So right. you've got Hav Havren, Havren. Or who's the goddess of the river Severn. Mm -hmm. Or you've got uh, Irven, Who's the goddess of the river D. Mm -hmm. uh, let me look up more. You carry on. I'm just going to okay. look up. Yeah sure. I mean like. You've got Hlir. Who's apparently a sea god. Hlir. The king of Britain. Good for him. Makes sense. Um. On the topic of water spirits, mm -hmm. recently found out there is a Welsh um, water spirit called a Morgen. No fucking way. <laughs> M-O-R-G-E-N. Um, and they're basically like Welsh sirens. So like the same thing, like humanoid, I mean... humanoid, usually feminine creatures that lure sailors to their death with their beautiful singing voices and normally eat them. Love that. Good for them. Yeah, for them. but uh, they're called Morgans. Funny that. That's my name. Anyway. Awesome. <laughs> I like how you had such wonderful formative experience in Celtic roundhouses, like being 
assigned a god or goddess like fucking Percy Jackson and weaving like <laughs> yeah. ropes and stuff. Meanwhile, I'm choking on actual <laughs> fucking yeah. like fire fumes, like actual fucking carbon monoxide because these things don't ventilate because, <laughs> you know, they're built for Welsh weather that's meant to keep all the heat in. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot see. My eyes are watering. I think I've got three different forms of asthma now. <laughs> Trying to listen to some guy explain to me how they built these houses and I've not retained any information because I can't actually stand to be in that room for longer than five minutes. Oh so we both God. have very different experiences yeah. <laughs> in Celtic Rout <laughs> houses. <laughs> I... Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. Celtic Rout houses, they're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of boring after a while, not gonna lie, as someone with ADD. Uh, like the the history within it is kind of yeah. cool. Like it's nice to see yeah. like original first people of Britain kind of thing. Yeah. Um. I feel like you could put them in B tier. They're not strictly Welsh. Like the Celts were kind of all over. I'm gonna put them in C because they are just yeah. round houses. They um, they are literally just houses that are round. Yeah. Um. Like I mean, like like I said, the history around it is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but the houses themselves that's are kind, about of, it. kind of basic. Other than like the willow weaving, and I now have this memory um, of like slapping yeah. mud against the wall to build it up or whatever. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was like it. Okay. <laughs> um, C tier for coughing because that's what I was doing in the Celtic roundhouses. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, next, we have Clogshire. Right. This is another one you're going to have to explain to me. So it's traditional Welsh dance. Uh, still done today. Uh, we have that? Clogging. Yeah, that is an actual thing. Um, um it's... you learned something new. So... Happy St. David's Day, everyone. You learned something new. <laughs> so in the... Uh, going with the theme of Celtic traditional dances, it is <clears> mostly <throat> footwork. Um, yeah. Not like the interesting ones like Scottish and Irish where you lift your legs up and bounce around a bit. Um... Yeah. You keep your leg, you keep your arms firmly by your side, and keep your knees yeah. as low to the ground as possible. Um, and you wear very heavy wooden clogs, which is where the clogging name comes from. Um, or clog. Wait, is it actually? You wear wooden clogs. Oh. That's literally it. I, I thought clogs came from like sort of G -G Germany. Uh, no, clogs are, are also a Celtic thing, and also like an old British thing. Interesting. Um, Interesting. They are very heavy wooden clogs. They are whittled, same as love spoons, um, and often we love our they, they used to be carved with like different things for what dances were going to be done. But there's a different dance for male dancers and female dancers because we love gendered dancing. <laughs> and there's also a mixed dance as well. Um, but Trish, it was uh, that. But it's the done. three genders, <laughs> yeah. male, female, mixed. mixed yeah. <laughs> um, but the clogs are very heavy, which is why your feet kind of stay close to the ground. Um, yeah, and I it's can kind of people have kind of said it's reminiscent of tap dancing, where the clogs make most of the noise, um, and yeah. depending on which way your foot lands on the floor, it makes a different noise, basically. Yeah. Um, but it's usually done to traditional folk music, um, and the picture that I've got. Is known as a canoil, the the candle, and the picture is. I don't think people can see it properly, but um, I'm just gonna move it up here so people can see it a little bit better. Uh, yeah, my head's kind of blocking for you. Yeah. Um. So it is a man in not clogs because at the Eisteddfod, like fuck, they're gonna risk that. Um, doing traditional mm -hmm. clogs here while jumping over a lit candle in a bottle. Which is a traditional part of the dance, apparently. I saw someone do it once at school in the uh, in the Eisteddfod, and that was it. I've never seen it again. But um, you know what? It's pretty fucking you know epic. What? Imagine trying to do that. So the picture is a guy in sneakers and like half traditional dress because it's at the live mm -hmm. Eisteddfod, and they're not going to risk a fire hazard. But imagine doing that in heavy wooden it... shoes. Yeah, that's our traditional I, you dance. Know... You know what's made me think? It makes me wish that someone did like a rewrite of Fiddler on the Roof. Yeah. But it's set in like Wales. <laughs> and instead of the bottle dance, they just fucking do Clogshire or whatever. Yeah. 
with the yeah. bottles. I just like if I were Richmond, that'd be that'd be tidy, but like <laughs> you know. Um, but that's what that is. Um, but um, as far as I'm aware, the dance varies depending on how north or south mm -hmm. you are. So, like, that makes sense. Clog can be... The north-south divide Jesus, is even worse in Wales yeah. than in England. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it's not, so Not bad. for class reasons, we just don't like each other. <laughs> yeah. What's that um, quote from The Simpsons with uh, with Willie or whatever his name, Groundskeeper Willie? And he's like, brothers brothers and sisters are sworn enemies like Scots and other Scots. It's even yeah. worse in Wales, I promise you that. It's so bad. Um... But basically, the dance will change depending on which region you're in. Same as everyone's accent. Um, yeah. Since a lot of it is just passed down yeah. via word of mouth and yeah. stuff like that. So, because um, yeah. it is slowly going out of style, it does yeah. change a fair bit. But I just thought mm -hmm. that picture was pretty epic because it's like... I'll yeah. see if I can bring it up on stream, actually, so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, now, I'm, I'm once again making a suggestion that's quite controversial. Uh, no. D tier. D tier. I mean, it is physical exercise, so like. It's, look, it's not as iconic as the roundhouses. Let's be honest. I'm just putting it on, um, on the screen but for people to it see. It is not that as was at the traumatizing. Air. That was at, I said for the air. I've just seen the air in yep. the background. Yep. They had kids do this, <laughs> and he is act <laughs> he's, he's actually wearing like wooden soled shoes, so they're not like full yeah. clogs, but they are like. So he heavy. could just like full on. If he slipped at that moment, he would set himself is, on fire. Well, that is the most interesting trip to A and E. And why do you have <laughs> a flaming candle in there? That's well, you see, <laughs> I put on clogs and did a little ditty over a Molotov, <laughs> yeah. and I slipped because surprisingly, wooden shoes don't have really good grip, especially on a performance stage. Exactly. Yeah. If you've, if you've ever gone and performed, there is so much <laughs> dust on there, you are sliding. Yeah. One wrong move, that's yep. it. Your whole life, gone. I performed at the air of the once with uh, my school's orchestra. Um, so did I. And we, we had the double bass on wheels. Trying to wheel it on stage was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> yeah. I I competed at the Earth um, with my college actually, Ooh. and the first round we made it through the first round, which was like the regional sort of, yeah. Um, you know, you compete regionally, and then they pick the best ones. Uh -huh. And we made it through the first round. Um, some would say that it's because we were the only group in that um, category that competed. Um, others would say that it's because we were that good. You were just uh, so good, you scared all the other competition off. And mate, yes, exactly. Uh, so then we made it to second round, and uh, we we lost. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we spent three hours it, backstage at the Wales Millennium Centre, uh -huh. rehearsing. Um, went on stage for all of three minutes to perform, and uh, instantly lost. Love but. That. I did get to go on one of the rides at the fair, so yes. was it, re it was all worth it in the end. That was a big part of going to the Earth for us. And the the <laughs> waltzer, I just want you to know, was playing the Club Cymru version of Sospen Vach. I love that. Yeah. Honestly, the Club Cymru versions of any of those... Oh. Yeah. I want to hear the uh, Club Cymru version of uh, Ridi Rapskalion. Oh god, we don't need another rendition of that. I think that is a time capsule for its for its own thing, really. Oh, um Clogsia, heavy ass wooden shoes, gendered dancing, yep. exercise, D tier. <laughs> See, I'm saying D tier, but I feel like it should be above Sally Mally is is all I'm saying. But I'm too scared to put Sally Mally anything um, below yeah, C tier I'm too, is the I'm thing. Too, I'm too scared. I'm too terrified. So too in our scared. hearts. In our hearts, Sally Mally is D tier, but our our brains are telling us to put it in C tier. Like, I'm not a suspicious man, but that's some cursed shit. That's some bad luck. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving her in C tier, lest yeah. I incur, incur the wrath of Sally Mally. Do you know what it reminds me of, though? There was this little French cartoon um, that that I used to watch called Bubba Papa. You carry on with your with your uh -huh. tier list. I'm going to look up Bubba Papa. Okay, well, next on the list is Cowl, 
Which I was going Baba to make Papa today, here. but I was so tired and in pain from working multiple days in a row that my muscles seized up and I couldn't be asked going outside. Um, because I was gonna go out and get some like vegetables and some lamb, and I was gonna put some effort in to make the broth, but I could not be fucked. I could not be fucked today. Um, I found Baba Papa. Oh boy. <laughs> Um, Baba Papa was a... I'm gonna share screens. Baba Papa... Uh-huh. Before we can... I know it's St. David's Day, but just hear me out. This was <laughs> my childhood. And seeing Sally Mally reminded me of it. So, Baba Papa was a children's cartoon. I watched it when I was living in France. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's an English version. Okay. I've yet to see it. Um, because I've only seen it in French. And basically, you've got... This is the mum. Uh, and this whoops. is the dad, and then this is their many, many children. I don't I think this is all of them. I to see the pop-out. Why is it not? There we go. That's the one. Okay, here we go. This is the mum. This is the dad. Breaking stereotypes by having the dad be pink. I know. Uh-huh. Because they were like that. And then you've got their many, many children. All I right. feel like there were more children than this. But I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. And... Something you should know is that they can just, ch you know Jake the dog, he can just change shape? Yeah. It's just a family of Jake the dogs. They're just blobs that change shape. Ah, oh, um, children's TV of the early 2000s. Oh yes. It's actually <laughs> kind of giving Adventure Time as well with this intro. Anyway, <laughs> let's just, let's just enjoy it. Um, um, I want you to know now, all of my recommended videos in in YouTube are just fucking, like, kids shows. We've got fucking Fireman <laughs> Sam, Rasta Mouse, and Baby Shark. We've got, like, three recommended videos that are all Fireman Sam. I want you to know. It, there's a whole ass episode. Right, okay. There's a whole ass... Yeah. I need you to know my viewers dropped by, like, six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the papa was my childhood. It was the French. That's what did it. I can't believe Damn. it. <laughs> it was the French. I knew it. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway. As soon as I started playing French, they yeah. all left. Ugh. <laughs> uh. We'll win them back, I'm sure. Okay, so... Cowl is the national dish of Wales. It's a very homely, mm -hmm. very comforting, mm -hmm. very warming mm -hmm. food. It is a mm -hmm. stew slash soup slash broth um, mm -hmm. that is made with lamb and leeks, mm -hmm. most importantly. If you don't have those, it's not cowl, it's just mm -hmm. soup. Yeah. Um, it's normally stew. with chunks of like potato. Not stew. It's not stew. It's not stew. It's not stew. Yeah. <laughs> its name literally means soup. Yeah. And for those of you saying, but it's just broth and vegetables and meat, I implore you to consider minestrone. Thank you. Very good point. Um, exactly. If it doesn't have lamb and <clears throat> leeks, it's not cowl, it's just soup. Um, yeah. Normally, it's done with like big chunks of potato and parsnip and carrot. Normally, yeah. with like some herbs and spices in as well. Yeah. Um, oh, the other thing that makes it cow, you've got to cut up little cubes of cheese. Little cubes. I was getting place... to that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You've got to cut up to little cubes of cheese. Um, normally, cheddar it's, cheese. It's, it, well, cheddar sometimes. I prefer the softer cheeses because they start to oh, melt. Really? They melt a lot easier, and it makes it really nice mm. and like stringy. Um, and you okay, have to have okay. crusty bread, crusty bread, yes. crusty bread rolls specifically. Yeah, that's Chibata how we always at a push. Yeah, at a push. But crusty bread rolls is how we ate it in in yeah. school and at home. Yeah. And it's just so good and so it's not even like hearty, it's just wholesome. And very it's... good when it's like winter and very cold. And the key to cowl is to cook it 
and then leave it overnight in the fridge and reheat it the next day. You exactly. don't actually cook it and eat it in the same day. Yep. No. Yep. And I, for those of you wanting to try cow, the Harry Bikers have a brilliant cow recipe. Rest and in you know peace. how I know. Rest in peace, Dave Myers. R.I.P. Dave Myers. Rest in have peace, Dave Myers. R.I.P. King. They have the an incredible cow recipe. I was very skeptical because I thought these men are not Welsh. What do they know? They included it Welsh is... words in that recipe. They I was did. so happy. And I was reading it going, yeah, but they haven't talked about that. Okay, they've talked about the lamb. Yeah, but they didn't mention the cheese. Oh, they, they mentioned the cheese. Yeah, but they didn't tell you to put it overnight. Oh, they did. Like, they got yeah. everything so right. Yeah. Mans did their research. I respect them for that. And you know what? If you want a good recipe to follow, Harry Bikers BBC Good Food. Yes, in, in Dave yeah. Meyer's memory. Definitely. I feel like I should make some cow now in Dave Meyer's memory, but I yeah. just, I'm not, I don't have money like that. I don't have money for lamb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have money for an entire leg of lamb. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, Dave Myers. <laughs> you will be missed. But um, cow is a very good meal. Um, mm -hmm. It's also very healthy, even though it yeah. it's one of those like comforting foods that tastes like Man, I'm gonna feel this tomorrow, but like it's yeah. it's actually really healthy for you. It's very You know good. what I think would be nice in Cal that I'd like to try? I've already put it in Astia just before you say anything. <laughs> okay, I didn't need to say anything, but you know what I think would be really nice in Cal that I think I should try? What? Is pearl barley. I think that would be nice Ooh. in Cal. That becomes you know more I mean? of that becomes more of a Scottish one though, because like they have barley yeah. in their soups. They do, but that's because it fucks so hard. Yeah, that is because it's because really good. Barley and soup fucks so hard. That's because it's so <laughs> good. <laughs> so fucking good. Um, S tier. Cowl is yeah. S tier, hundred yeah. percent. Like just mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. Um, next on the list is Kenin Peder or daffodils. Mm. Uh, the national flower of Wales. Um, yeah. They come in a multitude of different colours. They smell really nice. They start um, growing through any type of concrete um, if yep. they want to try hard enough. In January, <laughs> yep. um, <laughs> they grow. Some would call them weeds. I call them <laughs> strong. Uh, <laughs> strong willed. <laughs> I call them strong boys. Um, they, boys. they can grow much either like, much really a symbolism of the Welsh identity. A <laughs> yeah. I'm heed. I'm breaking through this concrete. Indeed. The concrete of, of a English. Heed. Fuck your driveway. <laughs> of English. I'm trying to think of the words. Um, authority. You know. Yeah. Um, they. Uh, what was I saying? You try they, to they spray can... them with weed zapper. A <laughs> uh, Yeah. Exactly. Um. <laughs> So they can grow individually or as a little group. Um, you'll find often that councils will plant them on roundabouts and stuff like that because they bloom very easily mm -hmm. and repeatedly. Um, they will re-germinate mm -hmm. themselves and regrow next year just from They're a very hardy from, flowers. Yeah, very hardy flowers. Um, just from a single bulb. Um, yeah. I I literally where where I used to live, um, there was like. Uh, sort of patch of grass outside my house no one ever tended to it like you know it would get mowed by like the council mm -hmm. every now and then because it was next to a road um but no one ever like actively gardened that patch of grass <laughs> guaranteed every year daffodils just popping out yep they why are they so fertile <laughs> yeah. i don't know what how else to describe them we have... they just fucking um... we weren't doing shit yeah <laughs> We have in our garden, in well, in my parents' garden, um, we never actually planted daffodils. Mm -hmm. um, but down at the very end of our garden, on the other side of the fence from the stream that goes through mm -hmm. our like uh, row of houses, um, is a single daffodil that blooms yeah. on its own every year in yeah. December. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it is I'm more he. Yeah. <laughs> it is the brightest of yellow. Um and it yeah. it doesn't actually have a smell. This is the only daffodil I've ever seen that doesn't have a smell. And it blooms mm. on its own from December to <laughs> from December to June. 
<laughs> without <Amorties>. fail <laughs> and, and we'll just go away and then come back <laughs> yeah we have no idea where it came from it always blooms yep. on its own and yep. the dog will always try and eat it yeah but it's still um, there so just uh just a little tip for any budding gardeners here if you plant a daffodil you'll have a friend for life <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they're like they're like courgettes. You'll never get rid of them once you plant one. Not quite like mint, where they try and take over your garden. But as no, they're not going to take. They're, they're as resilient. They stick to their spot. They yeah. stick to their spot. M yeah, much like the Welsh, we stick to our spot, but damn, we'll be sticking lane. to it. They they'll stick in their spot, but they'll fight for it. Like <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm all heat. I'm all heat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all heat. <laughs> um, and they come in lots of different colours. They do. Like, they you can do. get like whitey yellow, you can get orangey yellow, bright yeah, yellow. Bright yellow, different shades sort of, of like yellow. like a primrose. They're really cool. Petition mm. for um, daffodils to uh, come to Animal Crossing, please, as a plantable flower. Oh, fuck yeah. Please and thank you. I would be so happy. Um, and they're the one flower you can't kill. <laughs> Yeah, they're just always there, <laughs> regardless of trampling over them. <laughs> like you keep running through them and they don't go away. Just yeah. I'm all heat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yes, they are. They are mm -hmm. very, very cool flowers. Um. So I'm definitely putting them in A. Mm hmm Because they personalized daffodil good. weed killer that just says Dimama. <laughs> just says English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, speaking well, of Amal Heed, guess who's oh, next? My boy. The boy. The only, my boy. The only man. The only man. Again, David, will you get copyright claims for playing Amal Heed on If I stream? play the stadium version, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> please, please, God, because that is the best version of Amal Heed. It is, it is, without a doubt, the best version. Mm -hmm. David, the one. David Yuan. Oh, the fuck yeah. The composer, singer, songwriter of the greatest... A bard, really. A bard, honestly. The great bard, David Yuan. Yep. I think he is officially a bard, isn't he? I, I think so, check. yeah, because didn't... I think... I'm pretty sure he's, he's won the Ace Dead Buds at some point. He must have. Um, for me, it was a plaid com... But... Yeah, uh, he... He... I think David Yuan. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. I'm just trying to look up if he's a bard, and I see Gwyneth singer David Ewan in the fake plot to kill Prince of Wales. LOL, I love it. Like, old people okay. and their history. <laughs> oh, heat. I just want to see if he's a bard. Please tell me. Yes, he is. He's a bard. I love that. Um. Agent attempted to lure iconic singer David Ewan into fake plot to kill Prince of Wales. Oh my god. Pop off King. Um. Just want to know. <laughs> just oh. want to know. God, my. If he's a bard. I think he is a bard, yeah. I think my it did say he won the Ice Death Pod. An American layout, but my keyboard is programmed to be in the UK layout and now I can't find hashtag. You know. <laughs> help. <laughs> help. Please send help. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. Um, is it this one? Max Boyce is also a bard. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Uh, also a, a Welsh icon on the same level as David Ewan, I would say, for writing... Um... Mm. Uh, very popular Welsh songs, but Max is bo Max Boyce's is kind of popular nationally, mm. uh, like across the UK. Whereas Amor Heed, I you know you don't really hear a lot of English people singing <laughs> yeah. Amor Heed, yeah. <laughs> but you might hear a lot of English people singing hymns and arias because it's more of a of a drinking song. Yeah. Anyway. Even though it is oops, also a Welsh nationalist anthem. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Let me bring this yeah. up. Let me bring this up on stream. Uh, give me yeah. a second. Um, so Davide um, mm -hmm. uh, who is the composer of one of the greatest Welsh socialist pieces of music ever. Mm -hmm. um, let me just mute Spotify for a second. 
Um, what you're about to witness is the live version at a, I think it was Wales versus Austria rugby game. Um, this is the Welsh spirit I want you to understand. Yeah. Please, YouTube gods, when I upload this VOD, don't mute it. <laughs> I'm Please, going to be you, very if you upset. It, if you, if you, I swear to God, if what you we'll mute do it is, on St. David's Day, it's a hate crime. What we'll do is we'll talk over it every so often and just be like, oh, wow, yeah. this is amazing. We'll talk over this it every great. so often. Um, yeah. But what you're about to witness is Welsh greatness and Welsh unity and what is mm -hmm. essentially the spirit of the Welsh dragon. Yeah. I hope you're ready for this. <laughs> Because it's pretty fucking epic. Yeah. There he is. <sighs> there he is. Right. Please There's make my sure my browser is unmuted because that's going to be very, very awkward if it's not. I need to double check that. I had it muted. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's go. Oh, and the Nana as well. Yeah. She's crying as well. <laughs> Someone's, someone. <laughs> I can't find, oh, my thing. Oh, fuck, I'm hearing myself because I can't unmute. Someone's <laughs> mom is just in the crowd having yeah. a, an emotional experience right now. I'm not surprised. Uh, um, anyway, Davidio yeah. and S tier. <laughs> Davidio and S tier, definitely. I can't. Let me bring this back Thank up. You. Yeah. Um,. So, for the non-Welsh speakers, um, yeah. Ama or Heed uh, means here forever, or here yeah. always, yeah. Um, and it is a very patriotic song. Uh, it's become the Welsh socialist anthem uh, mm -hmm. in recent years, in recent decades, um, because it talks of no matter the amount of oppression we face, from whatever power may try to oppress us, the English. Mostly England, yeah. <laughs> Mostly the English. Um, we will always be here. Our language and our legacy and our history and our culture will mm -hmm. live on. We are here forever. Yeah. We will forever be here. That is the song. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good song. Fine. Yeah. Forever will be sung at rugby and football games. It's sung at football games. Mm. We don't give Welsh football enough credit. It does get sung at football Look, games. Look, we were in the World Cup last year. Yeah. We didn't do very well, but we were in the World Cup last <laughs> yeah. year. We, we, we don't talk about how we played in the World Cup. We just talk about the fact that we, we were we, actually we made in it, it once. Like, yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, but yeah, very, very patriotic and... Um, as you can see, very emotional. You're breaking up on me and I don't know if it's me or you. I think it might be my end. Um, yeah, my bit rates... It might be me. My bit rates just dropped a little bit. It might be me, actually. Yeah, my... It's just my voice is fine, but you keep breaking up. You're okay now. Yeah, just a little bit of a, okay. little bit of a wobble, I think, because I was playing a YouTube video at max quality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that, yeah, that, that'll do it. <laughs> and Be having fair. that plus streaming uh, was just like, Hur! but it's you fine. You know what? How dare <laughs> the English Wi Fi prevent you I from pay listening to Amor? 20 quid a month. Liverpool, for this. of all people, oh, should know better. We're going to get to Liverpool. Oh, in yeah, fact, we'll get to Liverpool fuck it, in we're minute. skipping this. We're going straight to Truirin. Hello, this is Edison Morgan again. Um. The following segment, I wanted to put a very quick trigger warning in front of it. Uh, we didn't do it on stream uh, because I think we forgot 
and didn't really realise how deep into this stuff we were going to go. Um, but in the following segment, we do cover um, a couple of major tragedies that happened in Wales during the 60s, um, one of which does involve uh, the deaths of many children. Um, so if you are not in the right headspace to hear about that, please skip ahead to the timestamp that's on screen now um, and look after yourselves, okay? We're talking right, about um, fucking Liverpool, okay? So, Right, yeah. I am going to go off on one. I do apologise, but this is something that I have explained to mm-hmm. um, my co-workers since I've started working yes. in Liverpool, which is where I live right now. Absolute yeah. heresy you want to, talk to about... any Welshman I know. Yeah. Um, do you want to split it? You can talk about Trail. Tra- tra- I can never, pra- I can never say it. It gets mixed up. Trewerin, and I'll talk about Aberfan. It's not even a hard word to say. It's just the R's and W's get mixed up. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, but I'll talk about yeah. Aberfan if you want to talk about Trewerin. Yes. Um. So, yeah. Trewerin, <laughs> which I have to explain to my co-workers in Liverpool. Um. Mm-hmm. The way that I try and get it across to them is that it was almost on the same level as this was our Hillsborough. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Which is way. kind of sad that in order to get it across to people, you have, you have to, to equate compa- it You have to, to compare tragedies. Like, like, it's... like you, ha- you tell them, oh, millions of people were removed from, forcibly evicted from their homes, and then the, the place where they had grown up all their lives was flooded. Yeah. And they go, yeah, it wasn't that big a deal. And then you go, yeah. no, it no, was as the, bad as a sporting that, event. The way that this oh, damaged... Oh, wow. The way that this damaged our economy as a country the way that it damaged (laughs) the local economy surrounding it um the uh the rise in homelessness and multiple like mental and physical disorders and like various uh like drug and alcohol abuses like following this that we never had Mm -hmm. an official apology until we got a very quick written one in i believe it was 2006 yeah. Um, and the fact that it still affects people today and that it was brushed under the rug. There were multiple deaths because of this event. And that was the big thing is that people were like, oh, well, people died at Hillsborough. People died because of this. Not directly yeah. because of the flooding, but they still died because of it. Yeah. That's what I try to get across them. And that's what kind of yeah. gets it into their heads, really. Because you, yeah. you talk to a Liverpudlian about Hillsborough and it's like the biggest yeah. event that gets them so riled up this is it for yeah. welsh people i just need everyone to yeah. understand we're not trying to say it's worse we're not trying to say it's on the same level they are two entirely different events yeah that had like equal number of um tragic events during and after and it affected yeah. each community very very differently but also yes. quite similarly at the same time yeah they are similar. That's the only way I've managed to get it across to people. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. So, <laughs> during the 60s... Having said, that. <laughs> having said that, I'm now going to shit on Liverpool. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> during the 60s, um, Liverpool City Council decided, and this is a very short, watered-down version. I'm going to mm-hmm. link some resources and stuff to go mm-hmm. and check out mm-hmm. more information for yourself. Um, During the 60s, Liverpool City Council decided that they wanted a reservoir to help um, to help with the production and like building up of and like the rebuilding slash I don't remember what it's called, but basically like the improvement of the Merseyside area. Um, Mm -hmm. And instead of like, I don't know, artificially building one locally, um, they saw this uh, wonderful town in the middle of a valley in Wales not even North Wales it's like mid Wales it's like nowhere near yeah. Liverpool um Let me and just we're check like Google Maps. yeah yeah and they were they basically went we're having that we're going to flood it did they go through the Senedd, the Welsh government no did well, they go... we didn't actually have an in I know, uh, we didn't... A, well, a separated Welsh government at the time. We were yeah. still being governed we were still by like, the English government. We were still like we councillors. Barely... It was like yeah, the we... Welsh council-ish. Oh no, no, it's North Wales. Is it's it North Wales? Is it North? It's like North. Yeah, it's sort of. Uh, it's sort of in between. In terms of like where it is in North Wales, it's 
history in Wrexham, but like that's more still, west. Yeah, yeah. So I'd say north. North, basically, but it's still, it's like in the forehead of the pig. But yeah. still, it's fucking miles away. Yeah. Um. There's like closer places. Yeah, Let's they didn't go through that. local councils. They didn't go through Welsh council. They yeah. went straight through Westminster and were just like, "We want to turn this valley yeah. into a lake for our own gains." Yeah. Um, and Westminster and approved Wales, it. Yeah, because of course well, Wales, they fucking did. <laughs> Wales didn't have uh because the Senate wasn't a thing. Wales didn't have its own separate sort of uh, government branch. Like that was separate from sort of Westminster, yeah. It or Whitehall. It was just it was just like you had a couple of PMs who happened to be Welsh because they happened to make their way up the ranks to Westminster, and so when there was a vote being like, "Oh, should we allow Liverpool to create to to flood this this Welsh village?" They were outvoted, you know, basically. Yeah. It, there was probably like six PMs in there who were Welsh, and five of them voted no. That one, I don't remember that, his name. That one. <laughs> that one. That um, I yeah. don't remember his name, but he was how. Fuck, <laughs> Fuck that guy in particular. Fuck that guy in particular. <laughs> I wish you a very miserable day, every day. I, I think, think he might. I think anymore. he might he be might dead. Be dead. <laughs> but still, I, hope so. <laughs> I wish you a very unrestful afterlife. I hope he had a very creative punishment in hell. Is yeah. what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm giving a very watered down version. Um, yeah. But yeah, they basically went ahead, and while there were obviously huge protests, there was in <laughs> fact a protest that started um, in Truiden and walked all <laughs> the way up through the streets of Liverpool to Liverpool <clears throat> City Council building, um, garnering support from Liverpudlians on the way, and they still went and fucking did it displaced an entire town this hub of culture um there were several I just like yeah what it, you said that there was a protest that started in Trewaren and went all the way up to liverpool yeah i just want to let people know that that is almost a 60 mile journey yeah yep uh it is an hour and 35 minutes by car yeah that that's how far it is uh huh. This was the sixties. So like, cars <laughs> could only go sixty miles per hour max. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um. Know. But yeah, they um an entire town was displaced. Multiple generations of families were moved against their will, forcibly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. And it was then flooded mm-hmm. and turned into. Yeah. What is now known as Thin Kaelin. Capital Kaelin. And the worst part, yeah. I believe, of all of this is that they tried to brush it under the rug. Yeah. They, in fact, tried to hide it uh, from from everywhere. Mm-hmm. Hence why yeah. I'm going to move this onto the thing so that I'm going to move this onto yeah. the stream so people can see it. Um, yeah. Hence why we have um, this. Um, what was considered graffiti is now considered also a major symbol of Welsh resistance and socialism. I scaled yep. the previous image up too. I think so it's I also to important it to understand. Yeah, to it's also important to second. understand for those of you. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll talk <laughs> while you sort that out. Don't worry. I think for those of you who don't know, it's important to understand that in Wales, you know. These sorts of villages and, and communities, especially like further inland you go, or like further up in the valleys you go, these communities, typically the people who live there, have lived there all their lives. Their parents have lived there all their lives. Their grandparents have. Like, this is not just like, oh, someone moved in one day and has been there ever since. Like, these are usually like people who've lived there for generations they've never left that town homes, they've never left that village were built here for generations yeah to live in. businesses and were started here yeah like they're like the reason everyone in wales knows everyone in wales is because you know you just have families that go back 
generations in some of these places exactly and so you know you just grow up around these people because your parents grew up around these people because your grandparents did like that sort of stuff so to then be forcibly evicted from from that village is even more of like sort of like a knife in the back because it is like you know, it's not just your home, it is your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, what you had hoped would be your children's and your grandchildren's home, now sort of ripped away from you forcibly by a government that isn't even yours. Exactly. Yeah. Adam, Adam's just arrived! Habit. Meanwhile, I'm getting Adam's here! We're rating, we're rating Welsh stuff! Yeah, um, I think Adam is on a bus right now, okay. I have a feeling. Um, but... Yeah. Yeah, given um, that there was mass yeah, cover-ups, basically, um, this, what was originally con considered graffiti, showed up. Um, this is what you're seeing on yeah. screen now. It says, <laughs> yeah. Druirin, remember Truirin. Yeah. Um, and it has become a symbol of uh, Welsh protest, yeah. of Welsh socialism, of uh, mm -hmm. Welsh, Welsh, independence. Welsh independence, definitely a hundred percent. Um, because yeah. authorities would take it down and cover it up, yeah, and spray over it and clean it away. And fair enough. Every night mm -hmm. during the dead of night, that was I wasn't saying fair enough to the to the covering up. I was I was responding. <laughs> I was chat. I just yeah. like to clarify. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and every night during the dead of night, someone would go out and repaint it. And that's where it's yeah. remained ever since. People touch it up all the time to make sure that it stays. <clears throat> yeah. um, it yeah. is. It's then been copied and sprayed on other local yeah. businesses and buildings across yeah. Wales, particularly yeah. council buildings. If someone does something yeah. wrong, um, it's used you as... You can also a... get really cool bumper stickers for your car. You can! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of really cool bumper stickers, <laughs> and I want one, even though I don't drive. Um, but yeah, it's become a symbol of Welsh resistance, basically. Um, mm -hmm. And it is very then, important to us. And if you want to, yeah. you can talk about Aberfan. Yeah, so underneath, you can say you can see also it says Kovuch Aberfan. And this was a later edition. So originally it was Kovuch Druerin and just Druerin. Um, and later they added Kovich Abervan, and that is because in the 60s, as you can see, they got the date next to it. Um, Adam, oh my god, we're talking about a serious <laughs> Jesus topic. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. You and anyway, Kieran have the worst timing. <laughs> de definitely. Um, so, uh, in the 60s, again, because all this shit went down in the 60s, because this was literally right before we established our own government. I think it was like the 70s or the 80s. I mean, in the 80s, we stopped being a principality and became an actual country again. Yeah. Um, so I think it was around that time we also established our own government. Um, so, of course, all this shit happened in the 60s because then we went, we've had enough of you and made our own government. Anyway, sorry, I've been reading a lot about that because I've been reading about Welsh independence and stuff. Anyway, um, so... Um, as you know, Wales has a very deep and rich mining history, um, pun not intended. Um, and, um, you know, and if you go anywhere in the Welsh Valleys, you'll see remnants of that mining history, uh, despite someone, and I'm not gonna name names, but I'm sure we can all guess who, <laughs> did not like those mines. Um, Raise your hand if you milk. have a good guess, kids. <laughs> yeah. Um... So, uh, one of those mining towns was called Abravan, and it was a mining town not far from Banu Um Anyway, when you're mining day in and day out for coal, you get a lot of waste. A lot of stuff that isn't coal, and it's just dirt and grit and mud, right? And you gotta find a place to put that waste. So if you're the National Coal Board, you decide, well, just, just, just put, put it outside. You know, it to, it's basically to the same effect of I'm not going to put the dishes in the dishwasher. I'm going to put them next to the dishwasher. They were like, oh, just put it, put it outside. Um, so they created tips, which were where they would leave all the coal waste, right? Um, just dotted around the landscape. Um, and you can still see remnants of these tips t 
today. Like, if you go to Abrader, you will see, like, these little sort of square hills. Like, they look like hills, but then they just stop and it's just flat. And those are remnants of tips. Um, very cool. Um, anyway. One of these tips, and I can't remember which number it was, because there were quite a few of them. Um, one of these tips, uh, was built on top of a uh, underground spring. The National Coal Board was aware of this because ev anyone who lived in Abravan was aware of this um, because they knew when it rained or um, when they had bad weather, it would flood. And so they went to the National Coal Board and said, hey, just so you know, the, uh, the, tip that, the place that you've just put this tip on has, a, has an underground spring. I don't think that's, very, uh, that's really helpful. Maybe five or six, I can't remember. Um, I don't think it's really great for the structural integrity of your tip to have an underground spring, you know, it might not be helpful. But uh, the National Coal Board basically ignored them. Multiple attempts were made at making them aware of this. They showed that they were aware of this by acknowledging it, they just didn't do anything about it. Additionally, um, there were rules and regulations put in place for how large a tip could be. Um, this tip in question was about, I think, three times the, the maximum um, recommended height of a coal tip. So you've already got two bad things happening at the same time. As well as that, you may or may not be aware that Wales has a history of having very, very wet weather. <laughs> and uh, this particular week, it had been very bad. Um, it had been very wet, very rainy, very stormy, right? All this to say that on a specific day, a specific morning in October, this particular tip collapsed, which in and of itself might not be a big deal. It's done that. It had collapsed several times before. Probably because it was far too big and had underwater springs under it. <laughs> and, you know, nothing bad had happened. It just had a little rumble. However, on this particular day, this tip collapsed and went hurtling down the mountainside towards the village of Abravan. And directly in its path was a primary school where all the students and teachers were currently in class. Mere hours, and when I say hours, I mean a literal 10 to 20 minutes away from finishing school for half term. Um, because they, they only had a half day that day. It was the last day before half term. They'd been granted a half day, so they only had to come in for the morning. Um, they had just finished singing their hymns for assembly, and they were about to be let out, right? 20 minutes. Um, but they were still in class at that time, and this tip collapsed and went hurtling towards the village of Abravan, the residents living there, and specifically this primary school. It collided... Um... Oh, I didn't realise Revlon Girl is about Abravan, that's very interesting. Um... It collided with the village and the school mentioned before, um, and killed... I think it was a hundred and sixteen children and adults um, that day. Um, I think it collapsed at about half past ten yeah. in the morning. And if I'm remembering correctly, no one alive was found after eleven a.m. And I say no one alive was found was because children and adults, but a majority being children as young as four years old, um, were buried under, under tons and tons of um, rubble and slurry, coal slurry. Yeah. Um, and so parents and miners who normally were used to digging for coal um, were now forced to dig for their children um which is a horrifying yeah. horrifying fact um it's worth I mean, noting it as gets... well that yeah. when the disaster was initially reported 
um, a couple yes. of days into the rescue efforts, we had yeah. help coming in from all over the world. Yes. And this was a long time ago, so it would take a lot this was to the come 60s. overseas. Yes. Um, well, I actually have an interesting story about Aberfan um, with regards to that the kind of help. Um, yeah. Uh, my my dad uh, lives not too far from Aberfan. I won't say where, but he lives not too far from Aberfan, and he knows people. Um, in his church that were that were alive when the accident happened and um, because they they live nearby they they had just been in their houses you know doing doing stuff and they had heard there's there's been an accident in Aberfan um, you know tip has collided with a school and because you know it's a lot of you know it's it's a my it's mining villages for miles in that area everyone got all their all their gear or their like sort of farm equipment because there's a lot of farms as well like their farm equipment their gear um their tractors and diggers and stuff and they all um went racing to Aberfan and my my uh there's there's a guy in my dad's church that was personally there um with the re helping out with the rescue efforts with his with his digger so that's quite interesting but um yeah people were forced to dig children out of the coal slurry and like I said no one was found alive after yeah. 11 o'clock in the morning which is a horrifying horrifying fact um yep it implies that these children weren't killed from the in initial collision um but rather they either succumb to their injuries or, or they suffocated, suffocated to death which is horrific yeah. um now you may be wondering uh, what did the National Coal Board or the English government do to uh, support families in this time? And the answer is I want you uh, to fuck take all. A fucking guess. Take yeah. a fucking guess. The answer guess. is fuck all. Um, the National Coal Board denied any responsibility for what happened. Um, an initial um, investigation was launched by the English government um, into what took place and found that the National Coal Board was not responsible. A second inquiry was launched, um, this time um, spearheaded by a Welsh, uh, a Welsh-born judge, so a Welsh judge, and they found that the National Coal Board were responsible. Um, there's actually an incredible moment, an incredible account of um, uh, a moment where they were, they, they had a, um, a public inquiry with the National Coal Board and the um, remaining residents of Aberfan, and um, uh, a, a, a parent basically said that he he wanted the cause of death changed on his child's birth, uh, death certificate to say that he was murdered by the National Coal Board, yeah. which he was. Um, mm -hmm. So the National Coal Board denied all responsibility, and despite uh, being found by a judge to be responsible, um, the people involved um, with these sorts of regulations didn't serve any time, didn't actually, weren't actually punished in any way. And in fact, all the National Coal Board had to do was simply um, pay out insurance to families. So you may be wondering, did they do that? No, they did not. Um, because the National Coal Board, funny enough, uh, does not like giving people money, especially poor people um, and especially Welsh people. So um in order to sort of worm their way out of of uh giving people the insurance they deserved they began psychologically evaluating people um to see if they deserved the money if they had been traumatized enough from this accident to deserve the money and when i say traumatized enough they would they would psychologically evaluate people to see if they actually loved their child their dead child if they loved it enough um, if they missed it enough, yeah. um, if they were grieving enough for their dead child, and if they deemed that any of those answers were no, then they wouldn't get the insurance that they, that they were entitled to. Um, the English government was also um, recommended to pay insurance to Abravan, um, which, again, they only saw a fraction of because of these psychological evaluations. Um, Abravan did, in the end, get the rest of their insurance from the English government um, in 2007, I want to say. 40 years. Yeah. 40 I could be years. wrong, it might have been later than that, actually. 
but it was definitely uh, in the 2000s, potentially the 2010s. Um, so, just to interject um, and here, just, the, yeah. the apology from Liverpool Council for uh, Truerin was 2005, mm -hmm. which was also 40 years from the initial yeah. building. Yeah. That's how long um, it took. Yeah. So, um, you know, this was money that could have been used to rebuild the town. Instead, residents had to rebuild it with whatever resources they had, with which, which, whichever money or resources they had, um, rebuild the town. I mean, psychologists at the time and today um, all agree that you know, there is a long-lasting trauma on the residents of Abravan and, and surrounding areas, I'd imagine, um, if you were involved in the rescue efforts, or if you knew someone who'd been involved. Um, you know, I, th I don't think there's a single person in Abravan without some sort of PTSD or trauma from that day. Even if you weren't alive then, it's that sort of, like, generational thing, I think, is just such a horrific thing to go through. If your parents lost a sibling, or or a child, or your grandparents did, like that shit carries on. That shit yeah. passes down, especially yeah. when you're growing up in that environment. Um, with the money that, so they they have rebuilt. Uh, with the money that they receive from the insurance now, they have created a a beautiful, beautiful um, memorial for for those lost in the Aberfan disaster. I've been there myself. It is. It is really one of those things that if you do have the opportunity to go to, um, of course, respectfully, yes. because this is a memorial site, you know, but if you do get the chance to go to, please do, because it is um, hauntingly beautiful. Um, it's, it's very somber, um, but they have been able to build that. Um, but it is a thing where it's one of those things where, like, obviously, I, I wasn't alive when the Aberfan disaster happened. <laughs> Um, but growing up in Wales, it's one of those things where I don't know how to explain. Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah. Despite the fact that I we weren't there for it. Yeah, there it is. It is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, bit of a trek to get to though, because it is on the side of a very steep hill. But yes, <laughs> if you can go there, please do. Um, also next to a lovely pub. Just saying. Um, <laughs> It's like we weren't we weren't there to experience it, but I think it's because we get taught about it. Every you get every child about who it. goes to school in Wales gets taught yeah. about it. And yes. even if you if don't you, go to school, yeah. there are memorials yeah. held every year on the anniversary. Yes. Definitely. Um and it was the fiftieth anniversary in two thousand and thirteen. Yeah. Um No. Two thousand and twenty three, sorry, it's the sixtieth anniversary. Yeah, 60th anniversary in 2023. Hi, yes, Claire. this is the. Yes. This... I mean, accident is a strong word for it. Um, <laughs> a lot of people have. But I suppose. Feeling. Officially, yeah. legally. It is an accident. It is an accident. Um, it's, yeah, it's one of those things where if you live or grew up in South Wales, you know someone who knows someone who knows someone who was there. Yeah. Like, because. That's the thing that's so horrible about it. Um, Links in chat. It was so, still so recent. Yeah. That there are people alive today who remember it mm -hmm. so vividly, and um, it is like, like, like I said, like even though I wasn't there, I get choked up thinking about it because it is such a horrific thing to go through. It is yeah. an incredibly traumatic event, and because it was such a huge thing for, you know. Welsh people at the time, yeah, it has carried down through the generations so that even, you know, Welsh people now who weren't alive when it happened, it it sort of it sort of haunts you, exactly, because it's like it's it is a sort of like they did that to us sort of thing. Yeah, look what we lost, and, and they didn't even blink, they didn't yeah, even bat an eye. The same. They with, tried to cover it up. The same with Truerin is yeah the blatant disregard for any any lives yeah lost or otherwise yeah and i think yeah it's it's 
yeah i'm not, not going to say like racism but clear discrimination it's against not but yes Welsh it is people. discrimination definitely that you know we were shoved aside as if we were nothing yeah. just workers you know i think you know truwerin and Aberfan are the same thing for north and south walians like yeah Truwerin the, the, is the, the North one Welsh Aberfan. things that we would unite. Yeah. On. Yeah, and Aberfan is the South Welsh Truwerin sort of thing. Like, they're both yeah. things that, if you're from that area, it cuts deep. Like, Truwerin doesn't hit me as hard as Aberfan, but then there's probably someone in North Wales that would say Aberfan doesn't hit as hard as Truwerin. Yeah. Just because I grew up in South Wales, which is where Aberfan happened. Like, I know people. Who were there? Like I've, I've heard, I, I hear about it in school. Like I, you know, I visited the memorial. It hits close. Um, it touches a very soft part inside of me. Whereas Truwerin, it's like quite separated from me still. Yeah. And you could probably say the same on the reverse with someone who's from North Wales. But it, it they send the same message, which yeah. is that these horrific tragedies happened at the hands of the English government, yep. and because of that, people do use them as a sort of reminder like effectively they did that martyrs to us. at this point yeah martyrs for like, their welsh it, independence yeah. yeah it's like they did that to us don't yeah. forget without them it's like it the government would never do that yes, yes they, they would. would yeah exactly. it's like don't don't ever don't ever think that they would care for us mm. and i think it's reflected in recent years with covid the English government redirected COVID supplies bound for Wales to London yeah. because apparently London needed it more. So if you ever think, but they and, wouldn't do that now, and yes, they would. The death toll in Wales skyrocketed because yeah. of it. Truerin, I, people have a lot of problems with. Um, oh, I can't remember his name. Who's the Welsh minister? I can't remember his name. He's a politician. You know who I'm about? So why why should we give a shit? <laughs> Because but, yeah. he did a pretty good job um, when it came to COVID. He was pretty. He was very sensible, and I feel like he was listening to um, um, health experts at the time. Yeah. And I feel like because of that, he did. He did do his best to keep infection rates and and deaths low as possible. Mm. Obviously, they weren't zero. Yes. Obviously, we were also having to deal with England and their um, legislation and jurisdiction, but. I feel like he General did a pretty decent job considering. Yeah. And pe like a lot of people don't like him. I at least respect him because he definitely does throw up the middle finger to you, to the to Westminster a lot and I respect that. The thing is is that it could have been a lot worse. We could have had another one of these disasters on our hands yeah. if anything had gone yeah. any more south than it did. Yeah. Um so the yeah. powers that be and the Synev did what they could mm -hmm. and yeah. while it wasn't a hundred percent what was the best it yeah it was the best for what yeah happened i guess is the best way to put it yeah yeah um but yes that's that's <laughs> why true and an are such big thing yes and now you... in terms of rating them in a tier list i here's the thing in terms of i don't know what Welsh to do culture, in terms yeah it it's, has in terms of a Welsh culture, it's an S tier. Huge impact. Yeah, it is in very terms of important. how great it was as a thing that happened. It's no. an F tier. Fucking like yeah. Obviously, don't... they are disasters. Yeah. People lost their lives. But in terms of yeah. every yes. Welshman knows about it. Yes, it is a part of every Welsh child's growing up. And um, like we've mentioned, even if you weren't there personally, it still yeah. affects you emotionally. Regardless still of that sort if of, you yeah. were there or not, you will continue to feel yeah. um, the, like, yeah. I guess the ripples from the wave for, yeah. for decades, even centuries yeah. to come. Um, yeah. It has had such a huge influence on Welsh culture and politics to this yeah. day. Yeah. Um, and it's been 50, 60 years-ish. It was the 60th, 60th anniversary. Yeah. Hold on. Um, 1960. Yeah, it would have been the yeah, 60th 60. anniversary in 2023 years. for Abravan, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And. 1963 it happened. And when the Welsh independence votes start coming around, they. These, Which I imagine will be soon. These will play a very big part yeah. of it. 
Um, yeah. So in terms of influence on Welsh culture, yeah, S tier. Yeah, understandable. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I am going to run a, a break for a little bit. Just to yeah, I feel like just... we should take a quick, a quick breather because I got emotional talking about yeah, that. I'll be honest. Probably when it comes to the vod, I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna edit it and put like some warnings yeah. in just before it happens. Yeah, uh, we should that's probably, probably a good idea. We should probably have given some warnings before we started. Yeah, talking about it. it got heavy. Yeah, if. If anyone needs to... Oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, I promise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, if anyone needs just need to a take a break the, like, or yeah. leave the stream entirely for a bit, go yeah. ahead. If you are curious, I did put some links to the Wikipedia yeah. pages. Uh, go through their resources yeah. and you'll find uh, much more detailed articles on it. Um, oh, no, I'm still good for the post-stream thing. Oh, yeah, it just might be a lot yeah. later because we've got a lot to go yeah. through. We've still um, got to get through a lot. No, it's not like we've done this and now we're like, oh, fuck, it. I'm, yeah, I'm no. actually not feeling it anymore. It's more just like we talked about something heavy and we're going to yeah. take a break we're gonna to like, take, reset. Like, a five-minute break. I'm going to yeah. play some chill music. Um, yeah. If anyone does um, need to quit yeah. the stream for a bit, please go ahead. Yeah. Um, also, before we take this break, can I just say fuck the crown because that Aberfan Aber <laughs> episode was dog shit. Like they took one of the worst tragedies to ever happen to Wales as a country yeah. to the people of Wales, and went, "What if we made this about the Queen?" Yeah, because you know who the Welsh love so much? The fucking the royal queen. family. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, ev cause oh yeah, <laughs> everyone just stuck their middle fingers yeah. in the air when she died because and it was just her, honestly so so like so insensitive to be like like i know your kids died but the only reason the queen couldn't show up was because she was she was upset about not crying for your dead kids and it's like nah i mean get over nah. yourself yeah like we don't we don't want you here anyway <laughs> like yeah i'll be honest <laughs> We didn't really want you here anyway, like, Prince Charles showed up and just kind of pointed. <laughs> like, yeah. Didn't want him there either, like... Yeah. Um, Honestly, so, yeah, fuck the crown. Even though I knew people who acted in that episode. Very cool. Um, <laughs> fuck the crown regardless, because that was just a, a soundtrack slapped, but that was about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, yeah, we're going to yeah. take anyway, like, a quick five-minute five five break. Um, yeah. I'll give it a little bit and then I'll start running just a couple of ads while I'm on break. Yep. Uh, so if you need to, uh, this excuse to go have a chill, have a cry, mm -hmm. uh, take your meds, have a drink, have some food. Yep. Um, like I said, I, I posted some links. I'll post them again uh, if you want to do some more reading into it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the oof. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know if that played on stream. I don't oh. think it did. I don't oh, I think they've broken again. I didn't hear it. I might have muted sound alerts for that bit actually, so that makes sense. Oh, that's understandable yeah. actually. Um, could you imagine Jesus this Christ. thing happened? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um oh, God. Wah, wah. five minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh um <gasps> yeah, yeah. Uh five minutes. Mm and we will be back so uh have a yeah. good break have a drink yeah be back in a bit okay yeah. we have returned oh, oh. Bubbles is asleep. Uh, uh, anyway. Um, yeah. Oh, Bubbles. <laughs> You'll be sleeping with the fishes soon. Don't be mean to Bubbles. <laughs> Gonna Stop throw hands it. with Bubbles. No. How dare. Bubbles better sleep with one eye open. Bro. <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> Leave my little trash panda alone. Right. No, I got beef with the trash panda. Anyway, I promoted the stream as being a short stream. We're three hours into it. <laughs> I know. We we spent most of it talking about fucking 
Tur mirap skalion. skalion. Oh. The fact that he has a North Welsh accent as well. <laughs> Nothing yeah. against North Walians personally. It's just your accent sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. The north-south divide is strong. <laughs> right, let's move on. The, you mixed your accent with Liverpool and now it just sounds weird. <laughs> uh, I hope Kieran's not listening. <laughs> I hope he is. I'm getting it. You guys sound like a fucking receipt printer. <laughs> that is the funniest <laughs> thing <laughs> I've... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they so curious. Hold on, I'm, I'm, hold on, I'm gonna find a sound of receipt printer, put it on the soundboard. Next time Karen starts typing in chat, I'm gonna start playing it. Don't, don't mind me. I'm gonna have that clip ready to go. I'm gonna have to show <laughs> people at work. That's so funny. Um. Anyway, uh, let's move on. So we've started just doing things in random order now. So we're gonna go mm -hmm. for. San Granog. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Can I tell my Black Nun story at some point? I think everyone has a Black Nun story. I have a brilliant Black Nun story. Because it's also a trans king story. I love that. Um, Let me explain what San Granog is first. So, San Granog. Oh, should, it, should we probably do Erith first? Because that makes more sense. Should we what? Should we go should we talk about Mr. Earth first? Um, I feel like you know about Mr. Earth and I do. Mr. Earth wasn't as big in my childhood really? as I think it was for you. I don't even know the Mr. Earth song because <gasps> my my family are vehemently English. Like they they were okay. not playing the Mr. Earth song around me. And I went okay. to a Catholic school. Mr. Earth. Uh, I'm gonna move him just here for now, well, uh, so that people can see what he looks like. Mr. Earth is the mascot of a, um, youth club society community thing that helps, uh, helps fund schools, do activities, etc. Gets kids mm -hmm. in touch with the outdoors and Welsh language and Welsh culture. Yeah. Mr. Earth, that's him, is a triangle man <laughs> in the colours of the Welsh flag. White for the sky, red for the dragon, green for the mm -hmm. for the earth. Yes. Yes. He has a theme song. Red for the dragon, green for the rolling, rolling hills, and white for the cloudy ass sky because <laughs> it's always fucking raining. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. Um, he has a theme song and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but basically, he is the mascot of like this youth society thing. Um, helps yeah. fund schools, takes kids on field yeah. trips. Um, yeah. Very Pretty educational, cool. Cool very guy. cool. Um, a lot of memes. They have a TikTok. Mr. Earth has a TikTok. I mean, sure, but yeah. like, Triangle Man, face of basically every school, every primary school. Yeah. Um. Do we play the Mr. Earth song? Do we? Do we do it? Oh, I think we might do it. Just a little bit, though, because I don't know how heavily copyrighted this is. Yeah. Um. What screams Liverpool to you in terms of emojis, can I just ask? angry <laughs> good to know, good to know, that good might to know. just be because of where I work um do we play the original or the remix um oh my god there's an official dance Mr. Erda Rapscallion oh no he's back <laughs> Oh no, he's returned. <laughs> no fucking way. Hi, B. The cameo we needed. Oh my gosh. We're... Be in chat, be in chat. B is in chat. B is here. Right. Uh, we're, I've... 
Wait. I've just added something to the soundboard, so I'm just waiting for Kieran to join now. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> we're, we're discussing Hello. Welsh culture and such. Yeah. Skylar, why are you being mean to be? I did, I've never done anything wrong in my life, ever. <laughs> Don't be mean to be. I've never done anything wrong in my life, ever. Um, Everything I did was for a good reason. And I've only spoken truth. Okay. Is my, Having said that, is B does look just... like Discount Fireman Sam. Discount Fireman Sam? That was actually I'd terrifying. I'd like comparisons though. made. I would like comparisons made, please. <laughs> Give me a second, I'm trying to get through these... Three yeah. unskippable ads on the start of a Mr. Irr song. Oh my god, Mr. Irr. <laughs> Are You're you actually kidding me? You're supposed to be our copy copyright free king. Like, actually. Oh my god, it's the remix. <laughs> it's the remix. <coughs> Holy oh fuck. Oh my god. This is so funny. I I can't wait for this. This. Oh my god. Welsh... That was like the best part of Cardiff Pride was uh, meeting Mr. Irith and then playing the... Literally uh... dancing behind him the entire time. Mr. Irith is being silent. We had a grand old time with Mr. Irith at Cardiff Pride, you know? Yeah. Ha having to watch the mascot get shuffled away into like a shop every 10 minutes to be switched out from the person inside because yeah. it was so warm. Watching Mr. Earth <laughs> be shuffled into St. David's Center by fucking bodyguards <laughs> is a canon event yeah. for me. <laughs> it's actually it's like the fucking so president. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> you missed okay. him. You did, Adam. You missed a lot from Cardiff Pride that year. Yeah. Here he is. This is this is Triangle Man, child child mascot. Oh, look at him uh, go. Yeah, let me he unmute. The also browser. looks like B. I'll be honest. Not peanut shaped though. Bro. Very unfortunate. Okay, are we ready for the remix of the Mister yeah. song? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to play anymore because I might actually get copyrighted for that, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm all heat we can get away with, but Mr. Aerith, I'm not too sure. They have a dance! Yeah. Can we learn the Mr. Aerith dance? Please, And post no. it on TikTok, please. Can we turn it into the new TikTok trend? Three years ago. Don't say Mr. Aerith. Let's have a look. Don't say Mr. Aerith. Are they actually going to talk to me? Are they actually? Are they? Are they gonna show the, the the thing from the beginning? I don't know. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Ooh, oh, so low quality. Hey, Mister Earth. Love that. Oh my I God! This takes me back. So, am I? Oh. Sisur. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm having a moment. Sisur. Sisur. Sisur for the non Welsh Cicern. speakers means scissors. That's what he said when he did jumping jacks or star jumps. You got you a call scissor, Mister Earth. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> No. We actually see Sir Mr. Earth. Oh my god. Now Roscoe can da. Please someone clip that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it a sound alert. Uh, hey. This is awful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah. Holy fuck. <coughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. That's Mr. Earth. Ch <laughs> child's mascot, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> We got to meet him at Cardiff Pride. Yeah. Which was very nice. Yeah. Um, I've put him in B tier. I think he should we just get, stay there. Didn't we get Mr. Irith Pride merch as well? I swear they gave us Mr. Irith Pride merch. I think we we had, definitely we got had Barclays like a, Pride merch. We definitely got Barclays stuff for some yeah. reason. Um, I think we got like a sticker. 
child heroine. Oh my god. Mystery of trans queen. Yeah. Oh my god. (laughs) Oh my god. Um, I think I'm gonna leave him in B tier, honestly, because I yeah, I think he belongs in B tier with Tom Jones. <laughs> on the you know? same level as Tom Jones. Yeah, they're they're of equal importance to Welsh culture <laughs> and identity, really. Yeah, oh, a hundred percent. Right, next one, we're going Sangranog. Mm-hmm. We're going Sangranog. Mm-hmm. Oh, at some point, B said "fuck you," and it was just auto modded and not posted at all i can i can guess why it's because i called him a peanut head the treasure tom jones yes but is Adam, in our defense, is it just banned b without oh, b. without asking me i don't have mod privileges so oh, someone no, else is b, gonna have to fix this for still, me b oh. is still here b, b can you yeah, message me on discord yeah. please can you can you type Okay, good. Thank God. <laughs> Sally Mally. Adam, how do you know Sally Mally? I don't know how you don't know Sally Mally. I can't believe I had to explain who Sally Once Mally again, was. my family are vehemently English. They will not, they did not let Sally me Sally Mally was only ever Welsh played for content. me in school, but sure. Uh, yeah, Sally... but I went to Catholic school. Sally Mally is in C tier because the older versions of her are fucking horrifying and we're too scared to Every... put her any lower. Every version of Sally <laughs> Mally is horrifying. Can I just clarify? There should be a picture somewhere in a cheese Discord um, of yeah. the very cursed images of Sally Mally. You still haven't added Nye Bevans to the uh, to the tier list, and I feel like that's very important to Welsh socialism. Okay. But we can do that later. Skylar, if, if we add any more, we're going to be here for seven hours. <laughs> It's, I, look, I it's feel still like St. David's Day for the next two, two hours, hours. Okay, we've got two hours to get through this. I as fe- soon as I it feel hits like, midnight, I feel like we've talked about Welsh socialism enough at this point. Okay, we've got a point. Across. I mean, we've got a couple more points where we could talk about Welsh socialism, um, given the road signs and the M4. Yeah, <laughs> um, but we're going to keep going with this. So, Sangranog was run by. The Erth, which is the, um, mm-hmm. excuse me for not being able to roll my R's, um, which is the youth community society yes. charity yes. thing. Yes. And it's this giant um, camp, youth camp thing. Yeah, imagine like PGL if people know PGL. It's like PGL, but Welsh. Yeah. You get but, to like, learn you... Welsh while abseiling. Like... Yeah, you, you go with your school for a week it has dorms um and you do like yeah rock climbing and kayaking if it's good weather or whatever yeah we never got to do it um you do like zip it's like if shit. you're if you're going down the zip line they'll come up to you and be like team barod and if you don't answer in english they'll just send you down yeah um, they'll, they'll just send you anyway <laughs> they'll just send you <laughs> yeah you have to go to <laughs> kicking team, and team screaming team barod. Yeah. Three Timbarod. Okay. Have you, you seen my son? Then. I have seen your son. Yes, I have seen Scout. He's very cute. Yeah. He's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, I ended up in hospital. Jesus Christ. From Sangranog? Fucking hell. Sangranog put you in. Jesus. Adam, this is why the Duolingo Al hates you. Mr. Rith is scarier than the Duolingo Al. Like. <laughs> If you can't order a coffee in Welsh, he'll come for you. <laughs> um, I only went to Sangranog once. It was in year yeah. six. I got fucking yeah. traumatized because I yeah. was put in a dorm with uh, the people who were bullying me. And, Uh-oh. you know, on the last night, they have like this big dance. Um, mm, I had a no. crush on one of the boys. Gay, okay. I know. Um, and they basically outed me to him. <laughs> and yeah. was like yeah they have a crush on you i dare you to pretend to date them for the night and then i yeah. got very embarrassed and it was awful that's very sad <laughs> yeah um if we're gonna talk about Sangranog and dorms we need to we talk need to about talk about the, the black, black nun. nun i will let you explain now, this you were very excited because i have a great this. story 
Um, because it's also kind of a trans king story. Um, so I never went to Llangranog, um, because my parents just didn't want to send me. Same, um, Adam, but, same. Yeah, same, Adam. But I went to a similar holiday camp called Pendine. They didn't teach us Welsh ah, there, but it was a similar holiday camp. I did you know, go Pendine. to Pendine twice. Right. And I yes. hated every second of that as well. Oh, I liked Pendine. Um, but... During our final night in Pendine, um, bear in mind I had been put in the girls' dorm because Mans didn't even know he was trans back then. Um, all the girls went into the dorm, and uh, when we arrived uh, on the final night, we saw that someone with Sharpie had written on one of the bunk beds, um, The Black Nun. Will come at midnight tonight. I'm not to kidding. Suck your cock. I'm not kidding. The <laughs> the girls next door to us were in that were in that dorm. You know the exact dorm, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, it's probably the exact same sharpie as well. They never scrubbed it off, yeah, but it wasn't there when no. we got there, and it was there, but it was there the last night. So Sorry, clearly, you I had had my you hands had... on my head, and my model looked yeah. like it was breaking its neck. I apologize. Yeah. Um, so that happened, and then different bunk beds throughout the dorm had like black marks on it, right? So now myself, being a very sheltered religious kid, didn't know what a cock was. Oh, um, no. I figured out pretty quickly after that. Um, but everyone in the dorm was absolutely terrified of the black nun coming at midnight to suck our cocks. And it took my my friend, who was much less sheltered than I was, by a mile, to turn to me and go, I don't know why everyone's so scared. None of us even have cocks. And I went, yeah. <laughs> um, now, bear in mind, I'm not a suspicious person. I don't believe in ghosts, never have, never will. Um... And I was sitting there like, you guys idiots, like, Superstitious. we don't even have cocks, why are you scared? Literally just repeating what my friend said, don't even know what cocks are at this point. Um, but everyone was so scared that they all slept in the same room, because all the dorms were split up with different rooms, right? So they all slept in the same room, and everyone was so terrified, and I was left alone in a room. And look, I wasn't scared of the black nun, but I was scared of sleeping in a room all by myself. So I ended up sleeping in, bear in mind, like 10 to 15 girls and myself, all piled <laughs> into this one room. Closeted it was at this a, point. <laughs> yes, basically. Uh, egg moment. All piled into this room because we were so scared of the black nun, myself excluded. I just didn't want to sleep alone. Um, was, was not great. Um, now though, I'm kind of like, God, I wish the black nun would suck my cock, because then at least I'd have one, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's my, uh, okay. black nun story. Holy shit. Where are we putting a Slangranog? Because, like, every, basically every Welsh Seated. school child has been there. Alright. But it's, it's also been... BC tier traumatizing and also the the skiing was very uncomfortable i love skiing i fucking yeah, hate, I hated every second of it yeah put awful. it put it in c tier because i feel like black nun and sally mally would get along great i feel like <laughs> they're on the same sort Hang of on. level I'm of gonna danger just... besties <laughs> besties <laughs> there we go okay next we're gonna yeah. go for long place name <laughs> yes. Which, if Adam joins us, he knows the song for it. Oh, can we join? Can we join? Hold on. Play it over the soundboard. Over the soundboard. Over the soundboard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> gonna wait for him to ask what that was. <laughs> We're just gonna wait. I don't think he's going to put in chat. I think he's just going to come bursting through the door. Please, no. Have you doomed he's me? He's going to come bursting through the door, through the door like an angry receipt printer. What the fuck was that about? What the fuck was that about? I don't even talk. I don't even sound like that. What are you talking about? You're on some shape, man. You're on some shape. 
<laughs> come bursting through the door. I'm waiting. <laughs> no? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, for those that missed it. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hi. Um, for those that missed it, <laughs> Skylar said that Scousers sound like angry receipt printers. <laughs> Ridiculous. <coughs> angry receipt printers. Am I wrong? If we get Kieran pissed off enough, he'll just prove my point. Please no. So it's a lose lose situation for him, regardless. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't even sound like that. What do you want about? What do you want about? You're full of shame. You're full of shame. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway. You're going to come for you. You are not safe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, we were talking about which is a real place. For those, oh, yeah, it is. for those who don't know, I've is, passed it. <clears throat> I've driven past it. Is a real place um, in the slightly north. Know. It's North Wales again, isn't it? It's North Wales. It's near like um Southern Halech area. Yeah. Um, and it is the longest place name in Britain or Europe. Yeah. Not I'm Europe. Not, no, not, uh, not Europe. Not Europe, but Britain. Yeah. We'd... So I think Germany has the longest place say, name. It's not it's, the longest it's place gonna, name. It's gonna be the Germans. Germany definitely wins. <laughs> uh, and it's not the longest <laughs> place name in the world because yeah, New. New Zealand holds that record, yes. but it is the longest place name in Britain. Yes. And we're very proud um, of it. And it was done entirely as a publicity stunt. There you go. That's the story. Um, a no, you were supposed to tell them it was because there was a family that lived there and they okay. just kept adding words onto it. Okay, it's because there was... Remember a, the bit. <laughs> it's because there was a curse put on the place by a magical fairy, and if you don't say the mm. full name, then the black nun will come to suck your cock. I don't the black know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it it was it was done entirely as a publicity stunt that's it yeah. and it's still it's still called that to this day and... but it's kind of backfired on us because now people are like my else is so stupid we shouldn't take them seriously because there were well, things are like that and i'm like okay, say the welsh thing not... say the welsh thing i literally have a say the line bart say the line bart i literally have a screen. channel point redemption that's called say the welsh <laughs> thing oh so do i yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I every so often, if I want people to shut up at work, I will just say it, and like everything goes quiet for a second, and it's like a factory what? reset. It's great. Yeah. Do you know what's better though? Adam knows the song. Oh my gosh, the song, the song. Say the line, Bart. <laughs> In my GCSE Welsh class, she was like, "Oh, you know, let's learn it through song." So I just started putting on. Repeatedly, the song of Shambai. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh no, no, no. Sing the song. <laughs> Do you joke? You Sing the song. That. We have time. No, we don't. <laughs> I will find the video and I will. Okay, put it in Cheese Podcast Discord. Yeah, we will. We'll listen to that post stream because we have a lot to get through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, 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 fair. Um, Fair. I think. Just because it's a shite publicity stunt, like B, B, yeah. Uh, B I said B. Said D. Yeah. Because it's it, just it, annoying at this point. It could be cool, but it is kind like, of just it really is, annoying. It is another. It is another point on your Welsh card, but it's also annoying. Yeah. Because if you, you can, do know you how can, to say it, then teach, people keep asking you to say it. You but if you don't, English then you just don't look Welsh. It, so like. Yeah. yeah. The Discord link isn't working, apparently. Are you fucking oh, kidding me? Oh, fuck's sake. Let me check. Hold on. Hold the no, I'll show it on the loud. Stand by. Push um, oh, yeah, it is. It just... that you're just not over the age of 16. Just... No, it's not oh. working. It, no, it, to... is, it is just buffering, yeah. Um... Okay. To go back a couple of steps, do you want to know how I ended up in hospital at Tech <laughs> Uh Yes, please. So long as it's yes. the shorthand version, because like we're yeah. coming up on four Just speed hours. Through it. So basically, uh, B, I'll can... send you an invite to the Discord. Don't worry. 
uh, basically, we'd been tobogganing that day, so I had wet, I had wet socks, um, <clears throat> and all the floors are hardwood floors. They're all like just hard yeah. tile. Uh-uh. Um, so we were mucking uh-uh. about in the dorm, and I went to like go up to my top. I was on top bunk, and I went to climb the ladder, uh, which is wooden. Uh, wet feet slipped, and literally all my weight went on one knee. I didn't injure anything else. Everything <laughs> on one knee. Um, and so the teachers were like, "Yeah, we're gonna take you to A and E." I don't know what the verdict was. I went back and carried on for the rest of the week that I was there. You don't Holy know what shit. the verdict was. No, I don't know what I was told was wrong, but I got back and I was gutted because I missed swimming. I missed three times uh, swimming. Uh, um, uh, yeah, it ruined it for me. But I stayed the rest of the time I was there. And then eventually ended up with a knee brace when I came home because my knee kept giving way. But apart from that, it was fine, apparently. No, the more I learn about your hospital visits, Adam, the more I understand why you're like this. <laughs> Okay, um, I think we're going to quick fire some of these without giving a lot of explanation, okay. just because they okay. are pretty self-explanatory. So, we're going to go for Brecken Kareg Water, because Welsh Water oh. does it better. A tier. B tier. A tier, yeah. A-tier. I'm willing to go A tier, because there's nothing quite like it. There's nothing quite like Welsh Water. <laughs> yeah. Even water yeah. from the tap is just so much water better really. in the countryside. Be it Scottish, it's Irish, or Welsh, it's just better. Sorry. Uh, be next fair, up, I'm not a fan of Scottish water, but I like Welsh water. Fair enough. Carry next on. up, leeks. Kind of the Nash. Are you fucking shitting me? How fucking I dare you? I fucking love leeks. And then, <laughs> not quite S. Okay, at least put it on A. They are a versatile vegetable. Hatsune Miku. They are so You've good. Won me okay, over. if you if you <laughs> fry <laughs> them, <laughs> if you fry them. They uh-huh. are so good. Okay. Sure. With the grilled cheese as well, so good. Very true. Also good in cowl, mm-hmm. which is, which is oh, what we've good. covered previously. Um, next up, we have Welsh cheeses. S. Uh, I'm going to bow out of that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> S. S. Your cheese podcast. Cheese podcast, cheese podcast, indeed. I mean, this one specifically cheese is podcast. Snowdonia cheese made with honey, S. which I haven't tried. I S- want to. S plus. I want it so bad. Okay. I want it so bad. <laughs> um, next up is Bara Breath, which is... F. E. No. I don't like fruity fruity bread or cake so or anything like that. It's a bread... Oh. With fruit, often soaked no. in tea, it is very nice. E. E. My, my tier list. My tier list. I'm putting it in C because mm-hmm. it's like I can have it once in a while. <clears throat> putting it in C. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, no judgment on that. That's fine. Uh, next, no, Welsh, no, Welsh, no, cakes. No, no Welsh cakes. Welsh cakes. Oh. Actually, I'm going to put it below cheese. I'm going to put it in A with leeks. Yes. Because sometimes... It's right. The ones that are made by someone's mamgi that just get sold in like a corner store. Yeah, those are great. So the ones good. from the stores that are dry as fuck yeah. and will sap mm-hmm. the moisture out of your body. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They taste like fucking sandpaper. Awful. Yeah, but yeah, like <laughs> the ones that you've just bought. <laughs> <laughs> fucking awful Look, ingredients. I live in. <laughs> it's very hit or miss. I live in England. I have to have them shipped no, in. Okay. I'm, I'm not judging. I'm just saying the store bought ones are terrible. But you get them because you can't be asked to make your own. Very it's true. It's very hit or miss with Welsh cakes. Yeah, very true. Um, right. Uh, what am I going to go for next? We're going to go for castles. Castles are a. Castles are cool. A tier, yeah, definitely. Castles, There's some good castles. Ooh, so many good Philly castles. The Philly Castle is really good. I'm the not Philly even Castle kidding, and I know this is because I'm local. Kid Welly Castle. Mwah. It's, I don't think I've ever been to Kidwelly Castle. I don't think I have either. It's great. There's not a Ooh. lot of it standing, but like it's still really good to go to. It's a good trek. Um... <clears throat> the stop. <laughs> the you have a problem. <laughs> you have a homophobia addiction. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Bruh. You know what's a really cool castle is Dinevor. Uh, they have a really yeah. cool castle because you have to basically trek for miles to get to it. <laughs> yeah. Cardiff Castle is actually really good as well. Cardiff Castle is very cool. My favorite is Kefili, oh, yeah. but you know, 
The Pate Trapper is of Castle Core, cool. which isn't actually a yeah. castle, but whatever. it's not actually a castle. But and it, it's it in looks cool from the trees. Her, but yeah, um, but it's not quite Frontier. Where is this? Uh, I can't remember now. Right, oh. next one is the Millennium Center. It's uh, everyone's seen it. It's a. the Welsh building with big words. Uh, they line um, them up in rainbows during a or B. Pride. Yeah. Put it in a or B because like it's yeah. it's a big fancy building. That's about yeah. it. It's got a theater. Yeah. And that's all I know about. There it is a yeah. very cool new cabaret cabaret space that they have. Ooh, it's very fun. Fair very enough. Welsh cabaret. <laughs> it has big writing on it that I've never actually figured out what it means. In these stones, horizons sing. I have no yeah. clue what that means. It's, it's probably something to do with music. Probably. Probably. Oh. Uh, Most likely. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. We're gonna go for uh. England versus Wales in ru in rugby. F. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Six Nations. F. <laughs> don't talk to me about Six Nations. F. The Only abysmal. because of the most recent uh, Six Nations yeah. match. F. Completely <laughs> abysmal. A terrible time. The biggest rivalry out of all of the Six yeah. Nations. I'm not kidding. You have your yeah. pairings. You have your Italy France. You have your yeah. Ireland Scotland. England Wales yeah. is like the entire country shuts down. I'm yeah. not kidding. Every working yeah. men's club, every pub is yeah. chocker yeah. to watch I am afraid matches. to go into pubs when England and Wales are playing. I don't leave the house. I'm going to be honest. I feel like I'm going to get clocked. Like... Like, I'll get hate crimes for very different reasons on those particular days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, next up is Mount Snowdon with its train. The highest point in Wales... I'd it say B or A tier because it's got a zip line. B because the train is only a one way journey. Yeah. Bro. You, you can't go both ways on the train unless you're physically That's disabled. Oh. Oh, literally, 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 unless yeah, you have right, Adam. unless you have you mobility aids. Unless you have mobility aids or like some proof of diagnosis, you literally can't go both yeah. ways. I mean, you could always I'm go good. down the zip line. <laughs> you could. <laughs> Bad idea, though. Not yeah. gonna lie. Um, next, Push Maur is S S. Well, I'm willing to say A oh. because when I was younger, I was terrified of it, but it's pretty cool now. Um, I convinced of. Adam that they would force him to crawl through the tunnel. <laughs> like a you did not convince me. <laughs> you tried. You almost had me. Yeah, I, I almost had you. you I had Sasha. Um, speaking of, um. I heard a young person that I volunteer in the one of the groups I volunteer in turn around and go, the children yearn for the mines. And I was like, whoa, hang on. <laughs> that was whoa. the funniest bit. We all went on a trip to uh, Pushmaur, um last year for Easter. Uh, it was when we had a that massive storm rolling through. I swear to God, it was drier oh in the mines <laughs> than oh <my> outside. <laughs> I'm fucking freezing. I... I lost sensation in my toes. I've been there twice. Disliked yeah. it both times. I am claustrophobic. Beat it. Oh, yeah, not good. <laughs> <laughs> Beat Don't it. Be um, just it to, just to explain, for the family, um, it used to be a working mine. They now do tours in the mine. Yeah. Um, it's really cool, especially yeah. given that and, Wales is a mining yeah. province. Um, yeah. it shows a lot of the history, including yeah. stuff with like the miners' strikes and um, mm -hmm. like stuff like that from around that yeah. period. It's yeah. also quite interesting because all well up until recently, and I'll tell you why. Um, they had a rule where only ex miners could work at Pushmal, like maintaining the mine. Mm. Um, so anyone that worked there was someone who used to be a miner and obviously now isn't anymore because they're all closed. Yes. Uh -huh. Um, I wonder why. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Last time we went there, though, uh, the person who was doing our tour um, was not. They were quite young, probably in their thirties or something and they obviously they were not an ex-miner but they said that um the, the reason for that is that we're kind of running out of ex-miners they're, yeah. they're they're an they're an endangered species a lot, mm -hmm. yeah, um, a is lot miners. of uh, old miners and quarrymen are on old the way and out dying yeah um yeah. so she was but um she was personally trained by the ex-miners working at push out and um, she is actually the first woman to ever work in the mine because back when the mine was still operational, women weren't allowed to work at all, mm -hmm, let alone mm -hmm. in mines. So yep. she's also like feminist queen. Love that for her. So love that. Fun stuff. Absolutely love that. 
Um, next up, we're going uh, traditional dress. I beg everyone who doesn't D. know what Welsh traditional dress looks like, go look <laughs> it up. Every year on St. David's Day, little kids across the country are forced yeah. to wear these itchy mm. outfits. Oh my God. And the like red and black hair. Worse than too. Sally Mally. The... I'm tempted to put it's it Sally in Mally E, you know? Probably. I'm tempted to I mean, put it can. in E because the hats, it with the hats are uncomfortable. If you wore a yeah. bonnet, it was uncomfortable. No Go matter if you wore the, the male or female no traditional here. dress, it was itchy and cold. Yeah. And the only like it, thing yeah. was if you got to year five, you're allowed to wear rugby jerseys instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, the change to the rugby jersey with like a daffodil or a kid. If, you were, and if you, you were really lucky as a kid, you could wear a daffodil on your head. And you fucking know what? My parents <gasps> wouldn't let me wear a rugby jersey. So I was the only Rude. kid in primary school in year five and six that had to wear the stiff ass hat and the itchy ass clothes. That's so sad. Oh, you. I never had to do that because um, once again, I went to a Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> on my way home today. Um, this is related. We were driving home, and we were like, why is this person pulled over? Like, literally just on the side of the road, pulled over, was picking daffodils off of the side of the road. Why not? <laughs> you do you, King. Yeah, fair but, enough, like, honestly. not a safe place to stop to do it. <laughs> on a country road? No, probably not. You know, needs must. <laughs> like, when you gotta go, what? you gotta go, you know? <laughs> right. Um... He was probably actually just pissing, and saw you driving past, went, oh shit, and started <laughs> pretending to be daffodils. <laughs> 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 Uh, next, uh, yeah. we are going for Gary Goval. Who remembers Gary Goval? Please tell me it wasn't okay. just me. Wait, hang on. I recognize the, the title. He's a, the he's wrong a, color. He's a green dinosaur with yellow spots and a red t shirt. In English, he was called yeah. Gary Go Safe. What? Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. He had a theme song and everything. And it's this yes, dinosaur, dinosaur dragon thing. Um, yeah, that would color. that would go around schools and oh, would teach teach kids about how to cross the road safely and oh. about like road safety. And he had a sister who was an elephant. Yes, yes. called oh my goodness. called called Ellie Echo or Ellie Eco or whatever you want to call her, who would teach kids about recycling. And she was a purple elephant. No, we had the we had the hedgehogs. I'm old enough to remember the hedgehogs. Oh, still. the Hodgehogs. Yeah. Oh, don't remind me about the Hodgehogs. Does anyone remember those? Oh my god, the trauma ads. Yes. Yes, yeah. I do. I was just about to talk about them. The trauma ads. <laughs> don't. That's what I grew up with. Yeah. Hedgehogs and trauma ads. Yeah, basically. But um, um, for but very, no, very small kids, um, they had like a whole gang of them. There was like four or five of them that did different things and once at the botanical gardens they had like this event where they'd have the mascots singing in air quotes because they had mics and like dancing around to like how to cross the road safely and how to look after the planet how did, to grow stuff go. you know your roads and the way to go no and the... okay that was the hedgehogs <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, look, I'm gonna find Gary. Gary, go to what's his Gary? What's his um, I, just, I, just I want to put him with E because once again, that's some like nonsense bullshit. It's some I don't know. Freddy I don't trust. Fr it. I don't know. They're teaching kids to look both ways. Okay, and it's, so was it's like Scallion. it's like some fr no, he wasn't. Rock. He was dancing <laughs> around a playground in a gold suit. Like I don't know. Right, there's and a this big guy's difference. dancing around a playground and roads in a in a dragon costume. He's teaching kids how to be safe. What, what was his theme to? I can't remember it. It was like e. Gang Gary Goval or whatever. Gang. Yeah, because it was gang. the early two thousands, and gang, gang, was, a gang, cool, gang. <laughs> was a cool down with the kids term. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put it. Yeah, not it, not if you were from Croydon, it wasn't. I'm gonna put it in D. <laughs> that was just your, your just story. because the yeah. costumes were shit, the music was shit, and they were honestly kind of terrifying. <laughs> you wear a gold jumpsuit though? No, apparently no, not. We don't talk about Rapscallion. Yeah. There was a video that Rapscallion. popped up when I was searching for Mr. Erith that was Rapscallion and Mr. Erith for the A Stedvod 2009. I'm yeah. not going to look at it. I'm probably going to oh, look at it. Oh, look, in... chat. I can also use the soundboard. <laughs> Claire's not Scouse. 
Personal skills? Don't know about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Liverpool. Close enough. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on, we have lava bread, the thing that Claire asked us to explain F. a while ago. F. Fucking F tier. This shit is F. disgusting. I've tried it once and this I hate nuclear. it. Never I'm too again. To try it. This shit nuclear. Let if me anyone, explain. Look, here's the thing. Lava <laughs> bread is one of those things. I'm allowed to th- I'm allowed to say it's shit because it is, but if an English person says it's shit, suddenly I become the most fucking Yeah. Like so the well man you will yeah, ever Yeah, this meet. picture that we have here, the lava bread is not the bread. It's the green stuff. It's the dark green stuff. It is in fact a type of seaweed that is harvested from the Welsh shores that is then turned into paste. And you put that on bread. Shit was pulled out of fucking Chernobyl. It's disgusting. It's actually so gross. Pulled out of Chernobyl. <laughs> Harvested from the Shit Welsh was shoreline. Out of Charlie Slimesicle. It's Charlie Slimesicle on bread. Yeah. So if you've ever wanted to eat Charlie Slimesicle, now's your chance. Oh yay. Oh yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do have an ad starting very soon. Uh, now will be the time to subscribe run, with speed Twitch run, speed Prime. Run. Um, if you reminder, if you subscribe with Twitch Prime, I'll tell you what the Welsh word for valley is. Yeah, if someone subscribes with Twitch Prime right now, <laughs> Skylar will Skylar, Skylar will tell everyone what the Welsh word for valley is, and you'll find it. We put very my boy funny. in a mortar a pestle. <laughs> That's the Welsh for mortar and pestle. It's mortar a pestle. Yeah. Um, do not worry if you don't have a Twitch Prime or you can't subscribe because leaving the ads running in the tab supports me anyway. Go get a drink. I mean, you won't find out what the Welsh have word for break. value is, though. I'm just going to... Okay, yeah. Go look after yourself. Ads starting now. Bye, bozo. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Anyway, yeah, lava bread. But what if they didn't get an ad? They just they they heard all of that. They heard all of that. Wait, I lo- I what is really. lava bread? We just explained. Oh, uh, I didn't take any of it in. Apparently, lava bread oh, is seaweed bread. that is mushed into a paste. And oh, in, yeah. If you never, Why? if you never seen it in like, Adam, I swear to God, I've taken you to the market and we've seen lava bread, and I've gone ooh. It's it's fucking really? grim. Ew. It's fucking grim. And like I like seaweed. I will eat seaweed. I in like seaweed. Ways. I would not touch that with a ten foot pole. I've tried it once, never again. It's fucking disgusting. That that's the same shit that came. Before. That's the same shit that started coming out of me when I mix spirits. Like, there's an image. Not the mixing spirits. <laughs> um. Okay. Next, we are gonna go for. Uh, should we wait until people come back from ads, actually? It's only, like, 20 seconds. I mean, you are almost at the former hour mark, so you make the call. We'll start explaining things that people probably won't be interested in. Um, I have road signs here. Yeah, let's do road signs. No one cares about road signs. <laughs> road signs. People are going to want to know about hydro, but no one cares about road signs. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I have yeah, a, I have a picture exactly. of hydro on here. Um, <laughs> road signs, uh, because in Wales they're in Welsh and English because yeah. the English are fucking sad losers who want to rename everything yeah. to English. Um, but it is kind of refreshing coming home from england yeah. to wales and you see welsh on a road sign and it's like oh, yeah. yes i'm finally over the border fuck yeah i'm finally home i can read so you cross from hereford to monmouth languages. and it's just the best thing ever honestly like i can read in two languages it's fucking great or like or monmouth literally... they get a lot of hate and for a good reason but <laughs> 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 literally like travel for wales the train yeah. that i get stops at crew which is way up in England uh, it's, it's way up in North Wales but getting yeah. on it and hearing the announcer speak in Welsh first and then English yes. it makes me so fucking happy because there's so many yeah. people that get so pissed about it being in Welsh first and I'm like yeah, yeah. go fuck yourselves that's, that's <laughs> how I feel getting my coaches back from, from uni because I have to get two coaches and the first one takes me to 
to you know my first stop yeah um which is still in england right and then i switch for my next coach which will take me into wales right mm -hmm. and it's the best thing because i'll get on that coach and i'll be waiting in the coach station wait wait and then i'll go to board my coach and it's great because i'll have just spent three months in england and then i get there and the coach driver's like all right but where you two where you two right and i'll be like <laughs> Cardiff and they're like all right you, you got any stuff you want me to put in yeah and I'm like yeah it's my luggage and he's like oh well, you see get on Welsh up there and I'm like coach okay. drivers are the best they're one of the best like yeah. sub genres of Welsh people <laughs> um but yeah um road signs in e tier because we have to have the english on all of it um yeah. as well as the welsh uh which, which is, is which is very annoying um what what does that say what is the welsh what is the road uh, sign for so that says ancient bridge pont hinavol uh castle castell uh nelson museum i'm the nelson and tourist information Hus oh. i can't read that word Hus Hus bus bus Here's an example of Welsh not being a phonetic <laughs> <laughs> It's literally Hus bus tourist I wonder what the tourist part of that is. I never would be able to guess as a fluent no, Welsh no, speaker, no, honestly. Definitely not. Not a clue. No. Anyway. Techniquest. How do we feel about Techniquest? S S S S S K S K S K. Up there with the with Tier. the other museum. Because every year for Easter, they do the <laughs> same. They do the same show about egg experiments, egg science, right? Yep. <laughs> and it is. It was the highlight of my child. I'd visit my dad for Easter. He'd get his his court ordained two weeks with us, <laughs> and I'd visit him for Easter. <laughs> and he'd take us to see the fucking egg science in TechniQuest. And it was great. They made a rubber ball out of an egg. I want, they turned it blue. I want everyone to see the fucking, like, <clears throat> mid-2000s theme that this kids' museum has. They filmed a Tracy Beaker episode in TechniQuest. Yeah. Iconic. Look at the giant oh, fuck, butt yeah. plug machine in the middle. Right. Like, the what giant is butt that? plug machine in the middle <laughs> is a hot air balloon that you have to pump up, and then you press a button, it goes full. And exactly. then you've got like, what are you at? you've got the fucking like you've got oh, a bit go. that's like you know the Blue Man group, and they go yeah. they do like the dog 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 dog. You've got one of those like on that balcony <laughs> bit there. You've got those blue bits. That oh, are tied it's, to rope. it's not showing You've it here, but like the water, but like the the water tubes where like oh, they go. Oh fuck the water area! Yeah, that little black box there is like a dark room that has yeah. like oh, electric stuff. Balls. It has they're plasma ball things. Yes, yeah, everyone would go things. over to it and lick it. Yeah, I didn't because I was sensible. Yeah. <laughs> um, they had like a um, they have a a thing that like recreates different types of tornadoes and stuff. That's really cool. Um, to the right, they don't have it here. That this was a new installment. Um, it's like a swinging pendulum that like draws a draws a shape. Like it's all very yeah. very cool. Um, and they do have a theater. They have a they have a um, I don't know. I can't remember the name for it, but a star gazing bit where they tell you about the stars. Oh yeah, they um, have um, what's it called? A planetar a planetarium. Planetarium, yeah. Planetarium. They, they still that. have it. They still have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. And they've got a stage where they put on different shows, and every yeah. Easter they put on Egg Science. And they also have a really cool gift shop. Yeah. Um, and a cafe. Uh, yep. And it's, yeah, really cool. And not far from it is a really nice sushi restaurant that does really good duck poison sushi Ooh. that they import directly from Japan. And it's really, Ooh. really nice. Cool. I'll have to take you there. Well, yeah. A tier because it's another museum that's really fun, right up there with some fans. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking love some wagons. S tier. Yes. Um, yes. The, the M4 motorway. F tier. F. F. Fuck F, it F, so F, much. F. The South the Wales day, to London. Stuck. Absolutely fuck it. Like, I once um, got stuck in traffic on the M4 for like <laughs> half an hour. Standstill traffic yeah. for half an hour because there was a four car pile up yep. right outside St. Fagans. Yep. I. People was were on my way so home excited. On... <laughs> <clears throat> I it was is on my the way interest home. Who I hate. Yes. I was on my way home on Monday on the bus, 
and uh, my bus driver pulled over and I was like, why are we not moving? And he was like, I don't know where we're going because the rhino box closed and I wasn't told. And I was like, amazing, cool. <laughs> we love going on Google too. Maps frantically. <laughs> It yeah. is the HS2 I hate for good reason. But I won't get yes. into detail because we're pressed for time. But I do dislike it. Yeah, just because we've passed the four hour mark. Yeah. And if it goes any longer than five, I I might just explode on the stream. Yeah. So, because <laughs> I have We're worked, breaking records for mischief within streams. I have worked several days in a row. And this is my yep. first day off of two. So if I'm exhausted tomorrow, it's not going to bode well for me going back to work. I on have Sunday. been in nine till five for the past five days, this day included. <laughs> I literally came straight back from class and I was eating dinner on stream. Guys, give us a break. <laughs> um, <laughs> can we cancel? Um, we no, you don't. Have, no, 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 don't cancel the meeting. I'm going to be fine. It's just meeting that- doesn't need energy. Cheese cast, cheese cast comes first, okay? Yeah, cheese comes first. <laughs> cheese is, cheese is yes. life. Um, cheese is life. Right. Cheese gives us what we need. Um, and Claire says, hi, Adam. Hello. Uh, next up is Sospanvach, which I don't... Oh. S tier, S fucking tier. Yeah, I don't think um, we have time to play it. But we might have the clip from when we sang it on stream, if you recall. Organ. Oh, shit. I don't know. Oh, my God. I might. Hold on. Hold on. I think I actually have it saved it in my YouTube videos. No, I've got saved in my YouTube videos, I think. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? While you Uh, search for it. Was it the first Um, one or the second one? While you search for it, on my um, last Friday, I went to a gig and one of the people was Welsh who was in the band. Um, and then the entire audience oh, erupted right, it. into Callum Lan. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Mm. I'm finding it. Stand by. <laughs> Stand by. Wow. Let's put a link to a YouTube video of the song in chat now for people okay. who are curious. I'm oh, sharing screen oh, where we oh, sang oh, Sauce Vach. Are you ready? Uh, and second. this was this was uh on Thankmas twenty twenty. Oh, oh my go. god, this was like a while. And we ago. sang Sospen Vach. Are, are you ready? Uh, uh, hang ready. On. Oh. OBS isn't picking up my stuff. Give me a second. Oh, um I love that window capture is just fucking stopped. <laughs> this is great. It's just completely broken it. No, I don't want that. I want that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, is that a sign out? Ah, everything, everything is fine. Um, okay. Everything is awesome. Let's go. Song for Walter Sweeney, are we guys? A song, <laughs> a song, a, a song of the song of our oh, people. Shit. This was a great uh, bit. Try to yeah. try to get a little bit of camaraderie going on here, right? All right, are you ready? <laughs> My is merry and witty people I dive the cross the mayard By a rapper and a creed and trio Our gaff with his grapple Johnny Bach Everybody sing along if you know the words, Walter Sweeney Sospen Bach and Berry are a tan Sospen Bach and Berry are a flower Our gaff with his grapple Johnny Bach um, I just like to say for the record, I'm glad that you found that so funny, Morgan, because I think if I was stuck in a VC with me, I would have left. <laughs> I, is this wait editing just, that is, was is this the to same me. year where the bit happened mm. where I made a joke in a Welsh accent and it like cuts to the Welsh flag? Yes, it's this that's the reason why I'm singing Sospan Vach, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because cool. I said, because we had Walter Sweeney, and I did a Cockney accent and said, oh, we need to talk like he, like how he sounds, so we sound friendly to him. Yeah. He went, oh, I but, and I went, oh, I but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, so we're going then. You yeah. jumped into the bit so hard, it like punched yeah. you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I, genuinely, something else took over, and when I came out the other end, I hated myself for it. Yeah. Um, 
Um, but yeah. Sussman the Welsh is werewolf. When sung by Let's a do. by a choir or by a football crowd, play the Fnatic choir. It is actually very, very good yeah. and very, very like it's one of those like rousing yeah. sports tunes. It's great. It's like specifically a Llanelli thing though. Yeah, we literally have all of our rugby goalposts have uh, saucepans on top of them because of this song. Yeah. That's Which, ridiculous. by the way, if you, if you couldn't uh, tell, is about... has a history of tin. Yeah, because we have the... the we used the, to have a tin, the tin works. The tin works, yeah. Yeah. So that's why Sospans. Sospans. You know. oh, yeah. Yes, the song is about Sospans. It's great. Um, S tier, definitely. Uh, next up, we have the Ace Desvod. Oh, so, A tier. A tier. It's above Royal Welsh Show. Yes. But um, is it as iconic as Sospan Vach? No, because it's kind of no, old no, farty, no, no, no. but... Yeah. So there's it's like an Eisteddfod cool... and yeah. an Eisteddfod or uh, which is the junior one, which is what schools take yeah. part in. Um, the Eisteddfod <clears throat> is a celebration of Welsh culture and the arts. Um, mm-hmm. It's a big old competition that includes like art, uh, art as in like drawing and painting. Uh, woodworking, mm-hmm. I believe there's a metalworking one, Probably. like category, um, choirs, dancing, so like the Inging. traditional dancing and stuff like that, singing, um, and then at, and then like at, canny. it's like this big celebration. Health. That, it's great, and then at the end of it, the the bard a bard is like crowned or whatever, and they get to yeah. sit. They get this cloak mm. and they sit on a chair and they get to yeah. hold oh, a they... spoon and stuff. And I was so yeah. They get the yeah. actual title of bard, though. So yeah. Like David Yuen is a bard. Is a He's bard. The bard David Yuen. Officially, or, if if you, um, if you a get, bard. Yeah, a, a bard, um, which also yeah. means beard in Welsh, but whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> the Vod, um if you do well in it or like you quote-unquote win it um you get yeah. crowned a bard like actually like uh-huh. a master of the arts and it's yeah. really fucking That's cool incredible. and they they have a junior one that is run by yeah. the earth society yeah um yeah. and a bunch of schools take part in it and usually there's like fairgrounds and yeah. it's broadcast on tv i've only competed it... in it once with my school for the yeah. orchestra and we didn't yeah. win uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> Because I was a band kid. <laughs> yeah. I say band kid. I was a violinist. Um, yeah. I was the band kid. I used to play guitar. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, did but... you actually? Oh, fully, yeah. I was in an orchestra. <laughs> I did not know this about you. <laughs> yeah, no, fully. I, Captain Cosmo I was in an orchestra. <laughs> what the fuck? That's really oh, cool. also, it takes place in different areas in yes, Wales every diff- year. Different counties and... host it each year. Yeah, and depending on where it takes place, they'll leave like some sort of like fucking ancient runes, like yeah. where it used to where the tent was. <laughs> so like, if you've ever gone to Wales and just in the in the middle of a random field or park, there's just been like a stone circle with an altar in the middle. Yeah, that's where nice death clock was one year. <laughs> they got one that in was, Amundford. That was it. The How last the last one that was held in Carmarthenshire was in two thousand and seven. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um I actually filmed uh one of the redacted videos in an Ice Death Pod circle because it just yeah. looks like fucking cult shit. Yeah, they just leave a, uh, it's crazy. We just leave a bunch of runes. Yeah. You know. We just show them we're like, oh shit, it was an Ice Death Pod. You know, here. just Celtic shit. Where's it? Where's and the if next you don't one? <laughs> if you don't explain to people what an Aestedvod is, it sounds like some massive ritual, which I guess it is. It probably I mean, is. It's like the, I mean, the crowning used to the, be a ritual. like the crowning of the bard of like this master of the arts. So I guess it is kind of a ritual. Yeah. But A tier, like it has a massive impact on culture. It's what keeps yeah. our culture alive, or at least helps to, especially with like the arts and stuff. It's, also, it's schools cool. tend to have their own ice death fod with their own competitions. Oh my and, god, um... my school used to have two. My oh. secondary school had two because oh. we'd do one on St David's Day, and then at the end of the school year, we'd have a silly ice death fod where. Um, Basically, <laughs> everything was whacked up to 11 on the insanity mm-hmm. scale. Oh. And literally people, like, one of the the main bits that people looked forward to was 
everyone would sit in like rows of chairs in the hall and up on stage yeah. kids would go up and sing or dance and the teachers had to pelt them with water balloons oh oh my goodness no we didn't we didn't do that but one year my teachers did the harlem shake I, our entire in, in school did the harlem school, shake oh yeah in your catholic school our, right our entire the harlem shake school... is not in the bible yeah. so therefore it can't be a sin our entire school did the harlem <laughs> shake and actually uploaded it onto yeah. youtube and then swiftly took it down when yeah our someone filmed changed. someone someone filmed <laughs> us and posted it on youtube you could probably still find it but then we weren't allowed to film anymore after, after that. the stream remind um, me to bring up my um school's end uh, like yeah, I'm gonna try and find video, mine because my schools, uh, the two local schools in our area merged. So the school I yeah. initially went to basically ended, and we had yeah. like a memorial video. I need to show it to you. It's the cringiest shit in the world. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, what was, it? what was I gonna say? Oh, one time I won the music award in our I Stepford in year eleven, I think it was, or year right. ten, yeah. one of them, um, for like best not best musician because i don't actually play an instrument but it was something like i had improved the most that's like i'd cool. done the best in like gcse music to earn an award but it was a job i it was a joint win with some other kid who who knew like 50 instruments so i felt yeah. like i wasn't oh. i wasn't the true winner of that one <laughs> but um, i once won a prize yeah. in my local ace so my local town slash village mm. uh, held a local ace i submitted a landscape painting when i was eight oh. years old and I won oh, nice. first prize in the juniors oh, nice. uh, art piece competition. I still have a certificate yeah. somewhere that's like framed. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's Deadwood A tier. Um, yeah. Next up, Oakwood Theme Park. Who remembers? So are we going to talk about Hydro? Can I talk about Hydro? Um. Just we're not going to make, make it, it depressing. We're going to make it really. We're not going to make it depressing. Yeah. Basically, Hydro used to be called Drenched. Why did they change it? Someone died. Yeah, literally someone died. Um, so instead of closing down the ride, they just renamed it. Yep. They didn't change okay. anything about the ride except for the name. Yeah. Could we still die um, on it? Yes. I know things about Hydro that I'm not allowed to talk about publicly. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> They do uh, after they do after dark shows where they put funky lights on the ride and it's literally just yeah. a giant water slide. That's all it is. Um, but someone died on it. Uh, but Oakwood is like the only fun place to go in Wales. So... Have you been recently? Within the last five no. years. Uh, my... How long was five years ago? Mm, no. My aunt uh, wanted <clears throat> to take me and my sister um, on a nice day out. Um, I think it was just before. No, it was just after COVID. Oh, hold on, I've got a good, I've got a good um, thing for this. Mm -hmm. Oakwood is the five, is the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza of British theme parks. Yes. There you go. Yes. It is not safe at all. It is somehow still around. It's like better than like the Butlins and Pontins though, because like yeah. they're still considered theme parks for some reason. I wouldn't call them theme parks. There's a holiday park. No, parks, they're like but, holiday yeah. parks, but like still. Yeah. Um, yeah, just after COVID, my aunt wanted to take me and my sister yeah. out for a fun day out, and she was like, I've yeah. never been to Oakwood before, let's fucking go, and um, she took me and my sister, and we went with her boyfriend, and I hadn't been since I was in primary school, Yeah, it was very expensive to get in, half yeah. the rides weren't working, and yeah. oh. um, none of the food kiosks were open. <laughs> That's like the typical Oakwood experience. Why are you surprised? I remember that there was, every, like, every time I've gone there. There was a line for one ride, and that was the toboggans. I, yeah. And the wait was, is, the wait was three know. hours long for the toboggans. Hold on. I feel like I've been to Oakwood much more recently than you guys, because every time I've gone there, half the rides have been closed. There's been like three, pla three food places open. And that's at like peak times when yeah. like all the schools are visiting. There's still like bounces... Bounce has always been closed when I've been there. Bounce has I... always been closed. Is that the vertigo when... thingy? The big trampoline? Yeah, no, that's the one that goes... No, it's the one that, it's the ones that uh, it like takes you all the way up and then yeah. drops you. Yeah. So I went on it when... I've been on that way. When it's never I was... been open every time I've been there. When I was like eight or nine. And I was too small to fit in the safety things properly. Mm -hmm. So it took us mm -hmm. all the way up and I was hanging on to these barrier things that went over my shoulders mm -hmm. for dear life because mm -hmm. I was slipping yeah. out of my seat. Yeah. 
Oh, and I my, think that's where my fear typical, of heights like, came experience. from. I think yeah, that's where my fear of heights came from. Just your average Oakwood from. experience. Like, if you haven't been traumatised at Oakwood, you, you, you're not Welsh. So, um, I'd say, you, like, A tier. E tier, not as bad as Lava Bridge. A tier. A tier. What? You're putting it in E? It's shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's great. D. It's like, it's like Carmarthen. It's shit, but it's great. I mean, no, come on. It's shit, but... Yeah. It's shit, but it's the only good thing to do. Like, Jeez. where else are you going to go? Swansea's too far away. D tier, because it's okay. shit and overpriced, but it, it has, is. like, a charm to it, I guess. D tier for decapitation, because there's a 50% chance that's going to happen. Well, yeah, like, someone said that that happened on the treetops ride. Oh, my that's God. Just, that's you know, a lie, but okay. You know the one that literally goes to yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I know the one. <laughs> Another one. Supposedly, I mean, because literally, yeah. there's there's like a <clears throat> string of like beads that looks like a necklace that was like stuck in mm -hmm. a tree. Someone's clearly just mm -hmm. yeeted it up there. But um, mm -hmm. <laughs> when we when we went when I was like nine years old, um, like the, the friends I was with was like, yeah, it's because someone like stood up on the ride and got de de got decapitated, and like that's where their necklace is. Oh yeah, I've heard that, that one. Yeah. The safest ride. I don't think you can stand up on treetops once the barrier is about. No. Like, <laughs> but me as a child. Ride, I think that's good. So yeah, D, D tier for <laughs> yeah. decapitation and death. Yeah. Next up, the Botanical Gardens of Wales, which is in Carmarthenshire, yeah. my home county. Our home Me county. D tier. I've only been there the once and it was fun, but at the end of the day, like I've been there a few times. Yeah. I think it's because I really like nature, but I. Oh, I really like nature. But I that's enjoyed about it, it that's, so that's much. It they have an in in the so what you can't see here. I'm gonna put it on stream so that people can see. Um, mm -hmm. they have a giant glass house, <clears throat> and yeah. it houses uh, some of the most endangered species of plants from across the world. Yeah. And they have like an indoor waterfall. Doesn't it have a corpse flower or am I completely making that up? I don't remember, but like it has like mm. an indoor waterfall. This like glass mm -hmm. dome that you're seeing, that's where all the plants are. And like they're all endangered yeah. species and they have like a little koi pond. Yeah. And they have like a little indoor like walkway that's in the dark and it teaches you about mushrooms yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. And it's really cool. Um, and it's all this land with like all of these plants and like nature trails and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And there's like an old manor house that's been converted into like an information place place with like a cafe mm -hmm. in it and it's really fucking cool and it's still not better than oakwood for me it's way better than oakwood plus it's safer <laughs> unless you yeah. unless you literally fall mouth open on a poisonous flower like you're not gonna <laughs> die <laughs> you never know i've <laughs> crazy things have happened to me I'm i've just... had a black nun suck my cock at midnight <laughs> crazy things have happened to me in wales i'm just saying so like C tier because Hold on, that sounded really non really really wrong. Uh, the black nun, not a black nun. <laughs> I just like to clarify. Okay. The nun who wears black as opposed to what they normally wear, which is black. Yeah. <laughs> Kids are so fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, I dropped my squishy. Um, but yeah, I put it C tier because it is a lot of walking. Um, yeah, the walking is the downside. Yeah. I've only ever been there the once and I can never convince people to take me again because they go, and then that's flowers, and I'm like, yeah, that's fun. So. Next it's time, a really lovely walk. Next time we're in Wales, we'll go. Next time we're yeah. in Wales at the same time, we will go. Can it... we take some Can we take some paper and some pencils so we can draw the flow? Yes, 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 we can. Yay. Yes, we can. Yay. 100%. I like drawing flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was still pretty good. Um, and the last couple of times I went, I went with my mum, who is wheelchair mm -hmm. bound, and we got to hire out um the mobility scooters, and she, oh fuck yeah, and she got to use so... them, and she was very happy about it. <laughs> so it just it just made me think of my granddad, who uh, the last time I saw him, he <laughs> he had hired out a uh, a mobility scooter from Butlins. Mm. And he was an absolute terror because his hearing wasn't that good. So we'd be like, oh, let's go to the pool. And he'd go in the exact opposite direction. And we'd be sitting there going, Granddad, <laughs> Gran Granddad, you're going the wrong way. Oh, he can't hear us. 
and we'd just be like, oh, we'll find him later. And we'd just go away for half an hour and then show up and he's, he's just driving past us on his little mobility scooter, like, nee, 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 nee. Oh. <laughs> I love that. Really cool. I love that. Um, yeah, um, goals, honestly. Next up, Aimsy. S. A for Aimsy. A for Aimsy, but I don't they deserve that better. They do Apart from the Aimsy. But A for Aimsy, yes. Aimsy is a queer. Aimsy can Welsh. be at the right top of A tier. A for Aimsy, but they deserve better. Yep. A for Aimsy, S for Sheen. S for Sheen. I'm going to put yeah. Aimsy in A right at the Good. top. Good. And put Michael Sheen next oh, to David Ewan. Yeah, put next him next to, to David Ewan. Oh, yeah. don't put him next to Aberfan. At least put him next to the cow. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put it there. Um, yeah. yeah. Michael Sheen is S tier. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. S for Sheen, A for mm. The amount What's he's, the last one? The amount he's done in recent times for Welsh culture mm -hmm. and getting us out there is yeah. amazing. Oh. Aimsy as I love well. That, man. Uh, for that, for, just um, for being cool. Amesy is also queer, so that's that's yeah. that's a plus. Um, Amesy is just cool. Amesy is just cool. Last one, Hinlad van Hardai. I'm gonna get the video up. Fuck yeah! If I get copyrighted yeah. for this, I'm gonna be very pissed. It's a hate crime. Hate crime. Hate <laughs> crime. Michael Sheen is S tier. Thank you, B. I appreciate that. <laughs> See, S for Sheen. He is doing a show, I think it's in the National, which is a bit sad because it's quite far it's away. It's about, about Nye Bevan, who, who created the NHS. Yeah. <sighs> I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're going to be doing a show in Spit in the cinema in April, so we can go see that. Uh -huh. so I'll be, I'll be down then. I'll be down then. Oh. Michael Sheen. I just like the trailer because it just starts off with Michael Sheen going, I am a Welshman yeah. <laughs> and a socialist. You may yeah. find me strange, and I'm like, get it, oh, I love that. Get it, King. <laughs> but it is a quality I appear to share with every other the health boy minister. The didn't stop with a listen. Oh, the oh, you've just unlocked a memory in my brain. Oh my what? goodness. Oh yeah. The boy who didn't stop, look or listen. Yeah. Oh. Trauma, trauma, oh my trauma, goodness. Trauma. Right. Oh. Um... oh. Him, lad, oh, van Hardai, yeah. in the land of my fathers, uh, is the Welsh national. No, we don't sing along. We let it. We let no. it go. This is the okay. it's male voice choir. If you want to mute yourself and sing, you can fucking go for it. But I want to let chat okay. hear the. To be fair, the, it's beautiful. I want them to hear the rumble. Yeah, I want them to hear the rumble. Full volume rumble. for this chat. Full volume. Are you ready to rumble? Your ears will bless you. Yeah. Um, this is the Sinatra Male Voice Choir singing. How are we feeling? <laughs> are we feeling patriotic? So because I sure as hell feel patriotic. You know, there's not a lot of days I'm proud of Lethley. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> it's not a lot of times when I can say Lethley did something right. But they did something right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What the fuck did they put into the fucking Slashly voice choir? Male know, voice choir right? to do that. S S tier. We're gonna put it all the way at the S front. S fucking tier just for the Slashly male voice choir. Yes. Um, and Nye Bevans also goes in S tier. Yes. Because uh, yes, he gave yes, us yes. the NHS. Yes, 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 and yes. he was king. Um, yes. Taron Egerton, I think, is also Welsh. By the way. The We're not doing every single fucking Welsh celebrity. We've been here for four and a half hours, Adam. We were just <laughs> yeah. choosing the icons. I mean, he 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 did quite an iconic film, to be honest. <laughs> Kingsman's Secret Service was an iconic film, but he Good Omens was Elton more John. iconic. <laughs> I don't I don't give a fuck. Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen gave a speech on on on. 
question of sport. And it was great. Yeah. And Ames is just cool. Yeah. Ames is cool. I Ames went to... on to QSMP and the first thing they said was Cumbri! So they, <laughs> they, they're cool. <laughs> I know very little about AMZ, actually. Go um, watch them. That's all I'm saying. They are very cool. Okay, B. Have fun. Have fun, B. Bye, B. B. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> anyway. Blood. I can't believe Blood. the Wales versus England match was so bad that we put it in the same tier as Lava Bread and the M fucking four. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> they like like even point, even right? Rap Scallion was better than that. That's how Rap, bad it was. Yeah, well, at least they... Rap Scallion had some charm to him, like yeah. <laughs> as nonsense like, as it was. <laughs> Wales versus England was just absolute pain. Like, I, in fact, you know what? Move it down. I'd rather eat lava bread than watch Wales versus England again. That was terrible. Oh, it was like a, yeah, a conversion point difference, which is dreadful. <laughs> Don't get me fucking started on that. To be fair, in both of the games that I kind of watched, they almost won. <laughs> they just, I just don't care. I'm pissed. I don't care. I'm pissed. <laughs> How many times has this happened? Where else have gone? We almost won. I don't <laughs> care. They lost the World Cup. Not because they lost, but just because they didn't win enough. <laughs> yeah. And the one game, the one game that I wanted them to win, Wales versus England, they lost. Oh no, did they even get... I don't remember. No, they didn't even get to Wales versus England in World Cup, because they did that badly. Anyway, we're going to... I'm just going to go through what we've got in each tier just to round this off. Yeah. Four and a half hours later. When I posted yeah. this in Discord, I said it was going to be a short stream. <laughs> you were not. You. I, I feel like I'm responsible for that. I went off about St. Fagans. You did. <laughs> and David Ewan. Yeah. And Abervan. Which was. Ugh. And male yeah. voice choirs. Yeah. And the Welsh, the Royal Welsh Show. Yeah. Okay. And Doctor Who Experience. So. And Push Maur. Okay. Actually, we spent more time on Sally Marley than anything else, and I think that's actually Sally not Marley. a good thing to admit. It's the only way to appease her. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, fine. so F tier, <laughs> the worst part of Welsh culture, lava bread, the M4 motorway. And the last England vs Wales game in the Six Nations, which we just don't talk about because holy shit. Um, e tier, not the worst, but still pretty bad. Um, English on Welsh road signs, national traditional dress, and rap scallion. Yeah. <laughs> um. D tier. Um, kind of shit, kind of meh. We have Clogsure. More shit than meh. More shit than meh. Clogsure, because it's physical exercise. Uh, Llanvair, because it was literally just a publicity stunt and there's no cool, like, magic behind it. Garigoval, because it's a dinosaur. Um, ma dinosaur mascot with shit. Speedtech shot Barney. B Tech Barney, it's B Tech Barney. And B -tech Oakwood Barney. because people literally died. And I it's an overpriced shit theme park. C, so kind of meh all around. Um, the roundhouses, Celtic roundhouses, because, yeah, history, but mm -hmm. it's roundhouses. That's about it. Sally Mally to appease her. Um, too afraid to put her any lower. Too to be afraid honest. to put her any lower. Too um. Too afraid to put her any higher. I, really, I would have put her higher. I, I can't. <laughs> have you seen the picture You're I wrong. put in the Discord? Uh, I haven't, but I'm sure I'll hate it. <laughs> Scroll for it Scroll right up. this second, please. <laughs> Scroll up. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I'm and that's not Sally <laughs> Rally, by the way. That's no Bevan. Is it the one that's beneath Dick Van Dyke? Uh, and the one above it. And the one above it? 
What is this? Oh, I now see the trans. The the, the I'm going to this to Dick Van Dyke. I see that journey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out of context, this is so weird, but it makes sense. Trust me. But the book's Sally Mally. She's great. Yeah, yeah. And then what's underneath it, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, mom. <laughs> why is the what is the pineapple? Why is this happening? Me when my werewolf. Me me when me. me. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Carry on. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also in C tier is Sangranog because it was kind of meh for a lot of people. But well, we all got traumatized by the black nuns. So. Indeed. Uh, I don't know what the black nun is. Barabrith because it was like it's like give or take i have to be in the right mood to eat it um and the it's botanical bad. gardens of wales because accessibility issues more than anything and if you're not mm. into plants it's, fun, it's probably it's gonna plants. be shit yeah mm-hmm. <coughs> and B-tier. if it's not sunny then you're not gonna have a great time either way if it's raining why even which bother? it will be yeah <laughs> um b tier so had significant impact on Welsh culture, kind of mostly appreciated overall by the Welsh people. Not the best thing in the world, though. We have mm-hmm. the Royal Welsh Show, <laughs> Sir Tom yeah. Jones, the yeah. Doctor Who experience in Cardiff, Mr. Yeah. Earth, mm-hmm. um, the Millennium Centre, not Stadium, mm-hmm. which I think I might have not said earlier. Stadium. It's not the Stadium, it's the Centre. The Millennium the Stadium WMC. Is, WMC. is the stadium where the sports happen. Um, yeah. This Mount... is a theatre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they filmed Torchwood in front of, actually. Right yeah. in front of there is mm-hmm. the fountain that they filmed yeah, Torchwood yeah, yeah, in front yeah, of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Mount Snowden. And mm-hmm. Postmaur. Mm-hmm. A tier. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. having significant... Um, impact on Welsh culture and overall very much appreciated. Amesy, Amesy. our beloved. <laughs> Amesy! <laughs> um, love Spoons, Male Voice Choirs, Daffodils, mm. Welsh Water, uh, Leeks, Welsh Cakes, mm-hmm. Castles, yes. and the Eisteddfod. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Welsh Cakes is so good. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we put we didn't put them in S because you know they're either really really good or really really bad. Or really bad. There's no yeah. in between. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then S tier, which has had great impact on the Welsh culture, will continue to do so. Um, has one hell of a legacy, and everyone tends to love it. Yeah. Um, well, okay. Apart, okay. apart from True Air and Aberfan. True Air and Aberfan, <laughs> just because of the impact that it has had. Yes, not because people love it. No, um, <laughs> that, the people love it bit goes for the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sos Banvach, Techni yeah. Quest. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welsh cheeses and Michael yeah. Sheen. Michael Sheen, yeah. <laughs> David Ewan. Um, yeah. Cowl. Ray yeah. Gravel and also mm-hmm. rugby. We'll put those mm-hmm. two together. Um, yeah. We won't Fagans, put it with England versus Wales. No. <laughs> no. Rugby is very much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, St. Fagans and the national anthem, Him Lad yeah. and Had I, which, yeah. unlike the English national anthem, doesn't talk about a monarch, it talks about the country. Which national yeah. anthems should do. Did you know yeah. the, the English national anthem is the only one to talk about a monarch and not the country itself? What a fucking shocker. Because yeah. England doesn't have any defining features other than colonialism. And Morris dancing. True, 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 true. <laughs> anyway, that is Have where you... our tears end. Have you seen all the theories about where Kate Middleton has gone? Don't. <laughs> Start. What do you mean where Kate Middleton has gone? What do you mean she's she's gone? We're going to talk about this afterwards, okay? Can I end stream first? Please do. Okay. Um, I um sh- chat, by the way, the Welsh word for valley is cum. End stream. End stream. Uh, oh, we got him. We got, we got to go. We got him. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to mute Discord now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh boy. Skylar, stop it. <laughs> Please. Oh my god. Let's get some music going. Right, I am so sorry that this took so long. I didn't think we'd start rambling so much. <clears throat> um, but we did. But I hope you enjoyed, regardless. Um, I hope you enjoyed this this little this little peek, this little delve, slight slight delve, like a tiptoe into um, Welsh culture. Um, there is a whole lot more. It goes way deeper than this. Um, I had to restrain myself from uh, going off on one about uh, Welsh mythology um, and folk tales because I fucking love that shit so much. Um, and again, if you want to uh, Google anything that we've talked about, like go ahead. Um, there's a bunch of very good websites um, made by the uh, National Welsh Museums. Um, definitely go and look up stuff from there. Um, it'll give you a lot of very good information. Anyway, I don't know when I'm going to be streaming again. Um, a lot of this is very dependent on uh, what my rotors look like. Um, it will most likely be Wednesday if I get a chance. Um, if not, it will be uh, Friday next week. Um, but it will be um, within a week or like next week. Um, I won't be leaving it too long this time. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. I hope everyone is all right. Um, look after yourselves, drink lots of water and I will see you in the next stream. Bye.